Well, what's going on today? First of all, Merry Christmas. It is indeed the 25th of December, and unlike these mangy mainland Europeans, this is when I celebrate Christmas. But I've already done my uh, celebrations of Christmas, had a digital Christmas with presents and all with the family. I've cooked myself up a damn nice ham. I've had it, and now I just kind of want to vegetate. And what better way to vegetate than by turning all these zombies into giblets? Well, a better way is to mix that with a time-honored tradition of racing marbles. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to be playing through more of the State of Decay campaign. And whenever we pop, over, uh, pop open a play cart, we're going to roll some marbles. And anybody in chat can join in. If you win the marble race, you'll win a free game of your choice from a vendor of your choice. This, I'll bend over backwards to make it happen. However, you could choose to forgo your free gift there and allow two of your fellow racers who place in the top 10 of the marble race to get the gift in your stead so I mean really you're doubling the amount of gift giving but it won't be going to you it'll be a real test to see who the Grinchy ones and who the saintly ones are in the community so hmm, I should have set up like some kind of asshole board on the thing but that wouldn't be festive would it right it's your choice to be Grinchy in any case Let's get going with it. We won't be getting any marbles unless we start blowing up those play carts. Fortunately, there are a lot to choose from, and I have a lot of work to do down here. That doesn't mean I'm going to be going ham on the play carts. There are other things that need to be done. Um, what exactly? I don't know. I have this lovely base, but there's more I want to do with it, and that more that I want to do is generally going to revolve around having some good, um, some good access to materials. Yeah, you're not that great, IFT. First things first, I want to get myself a gardening book, I think. Can't be used if a community s survivor of the community skill is... Oh, it's used on a survivor of the blank skill. I want gardening because I think it's going to help with uh, all these farms and things, but maybe I don't need to rush on that. I want water. There's a lot of things I want, basically, and I'd be able to get them better if I had a larger community. So I want to recruit from, from people to get some skills or just get those skills. Kaladin and Yukon are blank slates. I really want utilities, because I lack utilities. And actually, utilities into electrician might be the best one. And I think I want gardening, because having some big farms going with meds would be wonderful. So I want both those things. If I find people with it, great. If I find books for it, also great. Uh, since I've actually cleared out this area, and I wouldn't mind having some soldiers kicking about, I think, I think I will head up here. Start us out with some easy pillaging in the area, and now that we're central, it's going to be really easy to get around where we want to. So, my good old Vandito, let's head on out. Oh, well, not with you, though. You are all sorts of sleepy. I think everybody who needs it is all healed up. I should also make sure I have what I need here. Did I want bolt cutters or furnaces or... Let's put in that rifle ammo press. Oh, Herbert! Herbert wants to go and get us some drugs. Right, well, that's that's a double deal for me. Lost his wife, but holding out hope. Good luck for you, Herbert. We'll we'll start with Herbert's stash then. Jake, is it worth it to check out the failed Cleo drop? I I have it in my base. Should I just demolish it? Personally, I just demolish it because I'm not caring about that, and I want the extra space. And it only costs labor to do that. I wouldn't hold out. The sooner you can uh, get that put to use, the better, in my opinion. Right. I'll go to the soldiers. I'll grab some stuff, bring it back, and then I will go and deal with Herbert's stash. Because I don't think Herbie's stash is going to go away anytime soon. Although, of course, let's not get too cocky. If we're leaving the base, we want to leave the base supplied. Gotta remember that this is where the supply locker is. I oft forget that. So that's the... No, that's a break. I don't want a professional break on this. That just makes it stronger. Detach the mod, put the mod in, put the gun back in. Find the actual gun that I want. Yeah, there we are. Advanced suppressor. Plenty of rounds for it. There we go. So we can be all stealthy-like. I'll make sure this thing is repaired fully. Keep all the good guns well repaired here. Shouldn't need the extra bullets. What I want are some just-in-cases. 
All right, Herbie, let's go. Oh yeah, the community editor is the greatest tool ever made for State of Decay. Highly recommend it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, heading over there. As usual, you don't get three feet outside the base without already seeing plenty of Zombambos. At least this time it wasn't a horde of bloaters or screamers. I honestly think that the old van handled better than the van Dito here. Oh, right, right. What's the, what's the way up here? This looks promising. As long as I don't end up running into another bloater around here, we're good to go. So playing video games on Christmas, I mean I play video games all the time, but playing video games on Christmas Day, time honored tradition. Usually me and my brothers would each get a game, and then on Christmas, well, we, we're all god gamers in our own right, so we'd be blasting through the games we got. But no game do I remember better than Paperboy 64. What a what a crummy game. <laughs> but I blew through it in, in that one day, and uh, my mother seemed so disappointed that the game that she had she had gotten for me was beaten so quickly. Okay, easily enough. Uh, oh, you want to clear an infestation? I don't really want to, but. It's, it's in my safe zone, so it should be easy. Should be nice and easy. Well, if you're coming with me, we might as well loot while we can. A tale as old as time, Jake. Same thing when I was growing up. So the thing I like to do on the Christmas streams is start hearing Christmas stories from people in chat. Whether it be this Christmas or a Christmas past. Somebody's got a friend. Is it me? As usual, plenty of missions coming up. Okay, I'm not really sure I'm interested in going over there because of all these bloaters, but if I, if I don't... Well, let's just go for it. I'm actually loving the fact that we're running with a suppressed gun for once. Never normally use them, and now, now I feel good about it. And while we're at it, we're good with fighting, so... Ooh, yeah, yeah, sword play. Herbert likes his sword. He can stay good with it. Got another bloater. I remember getting my first Steam PC game on Christmas Day instead of just a disc. Total War. A Steam. Uh, Shogun 2 Total War. I was so disappointed. I had to wait two days to download it. I had a similar thing when I got the orange box one Christmas. Uh, uh, and I mean, the orange box was brilliant, but you didn't get the game. You just got downloads. Uh oh. Okay, this was suddenly not worth it. Way too in way too infested. Probably more infested than the infestation. Yeah, well, I had my really crummy HP pavilion, and uh, at that point, broadband I think had just been rolled out to uh, a lot of Scotland, so it wasn't particularly fast. Downloading that took a long time. It's meant to be an American soldier, and they haven't even got a gun. How disappointing. Okay, it's barely worth driving over, but I don't want to abandon my vehicle. Get ready, horde incoming. All right, just to just avoid the horde. For my so-called safe area, it doesn't feel very safe, does it? But this infestation should be child's play to take care of as long as there's no screamer, everything's fine. Besides, I got this swell backup helping me out. Not only that, sword play. Guy's got a good follow up on this. Alright, they let out a roar, but it doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. I think there's one zombie just dossing about here. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind helping you get home, but we got some company here. And I already know where your home is. It's right there. Right. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the... You know what, you're running home. This is my way of helping you home. It's this bandito. Just the handling on it is something else. I might have underestimated Herbert. Quite a lot, truly. Uh-oh. Not underestimating you. You know what? We've got some new military friends who can deal with that feral. Hello, friends. Uh-oh. More than just a, uh... More than just a feral out there. Oh, ho, ho, dear. Problems. That that juggernaut might have a horrible way with my new friends here. I, I might not have some friendly uh, some friendly soldiers at hand. You know what, Keyhole? We're getting out of here, or else you're dead. Dead freaking meat. Soldiers are good, but they're not deal with plague feral and plague juggernaut good. Okay, get over here, key. Oh my god, keyholes getting getting torn apart. Need to get some distance so that she runs over here and stops getting ravaged. But she's probably going to bring those zombies howling here as well. Damn it, keyhole. Is now really the time. Oh god, horde over there. In my safe area. Alright, let's take care of these while we can, keyhole. I bet that's bringing that horde coming. It is bringing the horde coming. <laughs> Damn soldiers. I didn't want to hear that. Oh, there's a lot of things I don't want to hear right now. No, Herbert, no, not now. Things are getting a lot worse, not any better. Imagine counting that as car cheese. Oh! Jeez. So when I said juggies are never really a problem. This is, this is meant to be a place that I've cleared out and made safe. It doesn't feel cleared out or safe. I think this is why, well, a part of why I'd really like it if you had people stationed on your outposts. Make them feel a little less deadly. Well, make them be a little less deadly on top of that. There we go. Let's keep this thing operational. Make sure that I have some painkillers on me. Did I drink my energy drink? I must have accidentally drank it. I certainly didn't intend to. I hope the Juggernaut didn't follow you. Of all things, just not the Juggy. Oh. She got plagued too hard. And she's back up for more. Well, that was...
collective waste of time, energy, bullets, health, and everything else. And I'm not sure the soldiers are going to be so friendly with me now. Wandering horde, juggernaut, screamer, and zombies. Right, well, if nothing else, give me your goods. A grenade, a backpack. Yeah, actually, that stuff ain't so bad. And you might actually prefer having a K-bar over a kitchen knife as your primary mode of execution. So, essentially a terrible start to this session, but that's okay. Let's go and pay a visit to our visitor after we have gone and looted what's nearby, because I really want whatever's in the old bar. Should be a pack of food, and actually our food is going down a little too fast for my liking. Where did I leave my... Oh, there's my van. There are those, uh... There are all those zombies. Hope that juggernaut doesn't trash my van. Yeah, I'm pretty sure clearing out the play cart will go a lot smoother than that. I was surprised how many people are tuning in today. I figured, you know, Christmas of all days, people would have other things to do. Spending it with their loved ones. Chewing down some turkey. Maybe I just have an absurd amount of Persians tuning in. So first group of people that came to mind that wouldn't be doing too much on Christmas Day. My family gets together for Christmas Eve, so today is all me. Yeah, again, Christmas Eve ain't anything special to me. It's all about that Christmas Day. But I'm still stuck in Sweden. Ideally, I'd be back home in Scotland spending it with the family, but traveling right now is, you know, you'd think it'd be getting easier. It's getting harder. Spoke with a guy at the um, at the pharmacy though. He's a dual national like me, and he says he goes back to the UK all the time. I must. I'll need to learn his secrets. Any dead crawling around here? Coast is clear. Excellent. Let's ravage the post office. His <laughs> secrets are Polish Finnish boats. Not nothing. Yeah, mentioning free stuff brings in the panhandlers, but I'm going to be quite interested to see how generous and festive people are feeling today. Because the moment you win, it's no longer me giving something away, it's them. The pathfinders, are they my friends? Oh, they are my allies, and they offer me something really good. And in order to keep them good, I need to give them Plague Cure. I don't really want to send Plague Cure, and I don't want to drive up there. But I do like the bonus that they give. I am just so sorry. Sosa, for the second time, has made our lives worse by wasting resources. This time she pigged out on food. Don't really like Sosa. Why does she keep doing it? Her mood can't be that bad. No, her mood is actually pretty good. Well, Sosa's feeling pretty pretty damn good, actually. I hope that I can find an Xbox or something at some point so that we can put that lounge to good use. For now, though, let's play some video games. Well, play some non-video games. Heffer, we've only just started. Haven't even set our eyes on a play cart yet. Search complete. So impatient to be a Grinch is our Pepper. Christmas movie this year is the Matrix Trilogy. Oh god, no wonder you're tuning in for the stream then, Worm. Oh, I said I wanted in here, not so sure anymore. I wonder if the zombies can see through the glass door. That's convenient. If they bang on that back door... That's going to bring all the zombies to the back door and give me carte blanche to explore the rest of this place myself. If I had some fire, though, I'd be able to, uh... I'd be able to just set them all on fire. But we'll leave them be. They might even leave with that. We're taking a break so the husband can prepare the roast. It's funny, but I had it in my head that you would help out with the cooking. Maybe you're the kind of cook assistant that offers moral support. Like, hand me the sherry. 
Ooh, that's pretty good. We need power at the base. And until we get an electrician to install us a solar array, a bicycle thing might work out. Although I think it costs labor or morale or something. Oh, and wealthy Nigerian prince putting their name to use. Gifting out the subs. Well, cheers. I'm not usually one to do these kinds of sub drives, but if ever there was a time for generosity, I'd say it was today. So, cheers. Then again, depending on how many people end up asking me for the entire collection of Railway Sim, I might, I might need to go begging more myself. We'll see what people ask for, though. When I say they can have anything, they can have any- Oh! This might have been bad. Oh. Yeah, they're letting out their roars. Gotta hand it to so- Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, now. You were not in there before, I think. Uh-oh. Damn it, Herbert. There's something I want to search here. Quickly, 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 quickly. Wait, was that not what I thought it was? All right, just get up here, rest a bit. There's a feral nearby. Oh, okay, never mind resting. It's feral clock as usual. How much does Herbert want to break his knees here? I should be grateful that I got up here as soon as the feral approached, though. Roar. History. Well, that was actually quite convenient. If the feral just wants to die, who am I to deny? Go for it, Herbie. Lock them out. Take care of the one you're locked in with, or don't care. That works too. Oh, what a waste. I go, I go to that effort and I get practically nothing for it. Ah, cheers as well, McCain. Oh, those don't show up on stream, do they? Because uh, for once in my life I'm using Streamlabs Capture. Well, McCain decided to share the Christmas spirit tenfold with others. Any fighting game fan can bankrupt Jake Sisfin. Already going for the bankrupt strats. I will persevere. Okay. Zombie threat at home. And somebody to meet at home. And that person... Oh, seven minutes for that. A mysterious stranger. And of course these guys need their only cure or else they're going to leave town. Okay, but I'll take care of those three things and then it's... Uh, then it's time for... Dealing with these play cards. I really want to rip through them. There are 28 on the map. We have already eliminated 10 of them. And it shouldn't be too hard to rip through some more today. I'm not sure I'm 9 or 10 years old. My parents got me to learn English while playing game. Neighbor kid got command and conquer red alert. Can you guess where I spent most of my time today? I know they had no clue what to gift. And with this, Merry Christmas to you all. Cheers, Marandos. I think video games are so useful for learning languages. Or so I will claim till the day I die. Where did I need power? The workshop power would be nice, but if there's power on this place, ah, that would mean uninstalling that mod. That's unacceptable. Where can we get some power? Where do we need power? Hmm, sadly, none of these places. Solar array for kitchen action speed. Some interesting stuff there, but nothing worth uh, risking Unky Herb over. Let's just get to the get to the van and actually maybe I could deliver the plague cure before doing zombie threat at home it's not very far oh no it's it's better not to risk it I'm so close to uh, to home anyway it really makes very little difference I wonder if that juggy's still around well, I can see that 
you are there and hopefully you haven't noticed me. Do you speak a second language, Jake, other than enough Swedish to please the citizenship test? There is no test for citizenship in Sweden. Long may that continue to be the case. Oh boy, you stay there. There is no test, you just have to fulfill some requirements. Uh oh. Oh god, no, I'm stuck! Get me out of here! And get those zombies off my doors. Yeah, if you're here for three years, or five years, with a, uh, with a living, or living with partner, and you conduct yourself well, which I assume means pay taxes and don't go to Swedish prison, then congratulations, you're now a citizen. After you pay the fee, of course. But as for other languages, well, I continue to study Japanese. It's about as far as it goes. I wasn't aware I had so many rock sacks in there. Where do they all come from? We may be outnumbered, but we have to stay strong. That we do. Also, where's my guest? There was a guest for me to speak to. I think they're in here. Hey, over here. Laundry. We're working on a chemical compound. You got it. And he gives me some free scent block, which is great. Very great, even. Amazing for slaughtering play carts. Uh, take down a juggernaut. Cool. Yes. And he should help. And we might even get a juggernaut attacking the base right now. So let's lock and load as if that's exactly what's happening. Keep the gun repaired. Keep some extra shit. Is that a feral? Of course it's a feral. Well, laundry. Earn your keep. Hey, there's that fair. Uh, there's that juggernaut. For God's sake, I can't reload this gun. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, laundry. Okay, well this is the first real test of our new base. Let's have less of you. Let's have much less of you. Did that actually kill you? I don't think it did. Yeah, well his head looks caved open to me. Oh, I'm starting to wish I brought some fire or something. Things are getting a bit hectic. Oh god, let, let my friend go. Get down, ugly. You're going down. Oh. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. I got the plague samples to make a cure pretty much off that juggernaut. Oh, another juggernaut! <laughs> and another screamer. Screamer's a higher priority. And you. That juggernaut isn't killing everyone right now. Oh, he's looking a bit jellified himself. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Another bloater. Nice of laundry to help us out, and considering that the zombies don't seem to have many ways into the base, this is more defendable than it might seem. Yeah, Beck agrees. Also, I love not being dead, so, um... Let's use that. Please, accept this gift. You've earned it. Be safe. Hmm. Yeah, four bottles of plague? Uh, plague senti block stuff. Very nice. I can deposit that, and you know what? We deserve to win that one. But we did anyway. Herbie doesn't seem too bad, and nobody caught the plague virus, aside from Herbert, of course. Well, that was a pretty big win. Now I need to go and give these guys their cure so I can continue to keep my dinner morale thing. He's saying you got worse B.O. than Chavez. Chavez doesn't deserve that kind of treatment. He's just trying to live with himself right now. Let's take that cure. 
Eat some, eat some meds. Well, that's pretty low health to be roaming around with. But Herbie can make the, Herbie can make the pilgrimage, I'm sure. Boy, you know what? I want the mod that makes shotgun shells more than anything. For now, I can make seven sixty twos and five fifty sixes, but I'm not really sure I need either. Well, I have zero seven sixty twos, but I seldom use those myself at all. I'm more into the shotguns. So I'm actually going to take that mod out, and I'm going to put in the shotgun press. Having all these mods is actually pretty good because it makes my workshop useful in that way. Uh, normally, ooh, I certainly want that. Um, normally, if you wanted to make all these different kinds of ammo, you'd want to have a, a warlord leader, and he can set up a building that does just that, makes every kind of ammo. But it's a big slot, and you'd need that on top of a workshop if you want to keep your weapons up to scratch, and I often do. Alright, stay locked and loaded, give these people their cure, and then it's Plague Heart popping time, because I don't know about you, but I am itching to get some marbles rolling. I worry about this. I worry about Herbie's health, actually. Forget it, Herbert can take a nap with his professional choking. Uh, does anybody need to... Ah, damn it. Herbert doesn't have his hero bonus yet. Ah, but neither does Sosa. All right, Sosa, you are exceptionally useful. Oh, damn, Herbert's stash. Where is Herbert's stash? <laughs> down there where I'm going to be doing plague hearts. All right, looks like there's no rest for Herbie then. Poor guy. He's probably going to feel real bad if he chokes this, but... Take your necessaries. Be sure to carry that on you. Let's be sure to have some extra of that on us. Plague Cure and Plague Cure. I've got lots and lots of meds, which is good. And I've got tons of Plague Cure. That is excellent. I hope to get a gardener someday so I can make even more meds and just crank out industrial amounts of cure. Okay. Let's go help our friends. <laughs> the mind wonders how our friends managed to pick up the plague to begin with. Surely has nothing to do with that giant fight we had in their place when clearing out the feral. I am heading your way as we speak, June. I don't know how long it takes before um, survivors get so bummed out waiting on you that they give up and just leave. Sometimes it feels very generous, other times you think, my god, I'll keep it in your pants, so... That is a nice mountainscape in the background. Looks a bit like sloppy ice cream, though. Tell you a game that's really impressed me with its... Um, not necessarily graphics, but just how well it does... Nature? Is that the word I'm looking for? Scenic views. Let's go with that. Just Cause 3. I played more of it after doing it on stream. Uh, I got bored with it after a while because I think the game suffers from being too big. Oh, j oh Christ! Speaking of suffering... Oh god, thank god we installed a self-writer on the Vandito. I better keep an eye out for plague zombies. <laughs> an eye out. As if you'll have difficulty with that. Hey Pizza, why are you so tired? Why are so many people in this community having difficulty sleeping? It's the easiest thing in the world. Lie down, close eyes, teleport through time. I like these guys, well armed and providing one of the good bonuses. Come up to the station, will you? Mickey will behave himself, I promise. Don't just stand out there, hon. Come on in. We're basically tapped out in Plague Cure. Can you help us? Abs uh, yes. Thanks. I appreciate it. Good influence for that. Almost as much as you'd get from selling the Plague Cure, if not more. And whilst we're here, I didn't want to recruit any of you guys, but I absolutely want your carpentry supplies. Oh, that's worth it for the bullets alone. <laughs> First aid kit. Oh, I always like buying parts, but I have so many of them it's probably not worth it. Yeah, that, that's actually worth buying, to take the bullets and scrap the gun. Not buying gas cans, got plenty. 
Can't not get the fuel. Actually, fuel is one thing I'm dripping in these days. Got like 15 cartloads of fuel back at the base. Okie dokie. Well, you know, while I'm here, this carport is mine for the taking. What you got? This will come in here. Ethanol, which I never seem to find useless for. And a pipe wrench, which will be smelted down for parts at some point in the future. Anything else worth risking it for while we're out here? Certainly are things that I need to destroy, but largely this place is tapped on everything. So forget that, we're going for Unky Herb Stash. And whilst I'm down there... Oh yeah, that's our curious immortal botanist friend. Uh, no, I think I'll just get that and come back to base. If my memory holds, uh, you actually need to return to base to complete that mission anyway. Then Herbert will get a much needed break. And then it's up to Sosa to go and start clearing out some play cards. I don't know if anyone's been keeping track on who's been doing what. But I don't have any great memory of Sosa having taken out play cards. We'll change that now. I haven't been naming the community after members of the chat community this time around. Mostly because I don't want to break the flow. When we do a dark side campaign, I almost certainly be doing that. Probably because dark side has a lot more death going for it. And I want that feeling of, oh no, this person that we actually care about within the community has had a horrible, untimely death. It's just going to add to the experience for me. And if it adds to the experience for me, it's usually going to add for others as well. I'm of the mindset... Oh, 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 Christ. I'm of the mindset that if I enjoy something, doubtlessly there are others who do too. Maybe I shouldn't fast search here with that juggy so close by. Sometimes hope can pay off. <laughs> He's keeping hope for his dead wife. Sorry, but this ain't Silent Hill 2. God, this is meant to be my safe area. It doesn't look very safe at all. It's even got another couple of survivor, bat, uh, survivor thingies here. Okay, let's head on down. It's not even worth taking a stop off at my supply place from heading down there. Damn, Kaladin, we've been trying. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no! I need a way out of here. Preferably a road of sorts. Vandito's not the worst for getting stuck on things, but it's not the best. It's no... What's a really good one? The thing we got from the Antis BOV. Now that's a good one. Speaking of which, we finished with the Ants quests, didn't we? I think we did. Right, let's finally just go for it. I love having the base so central. Being able to swiftly go to other parts of the map is great compared to the horror of having that other outpost. Oh, just speaking of horrors, next to our home base, Triple Feral Pack. Well, better get them here and dispatched with. Uh, yeah, well, I think I'm gonna move this. Um, gonna move this van. Don't like it taking up this space. It also seems to be fading in and out of reality. I will park you right here. Doesn't have anything in it, nor should it. But I want to have space to park my car on either side of this base, or park the van rather, because I will constantly forget where is where. Wonderful. Get the ammo out of that as we send it in, and upgrade our workshop. They weren't kidding. Good workshop is pretty important. This is good because everybody wanders around this big open base. Means you can shoot things uh, very, very quickly from anybody. Whereas in certain places, like multi-story buildings that you use as bases, if people are upstairs, they're not going to help with some fights that are going downstairs. It can be really quite horrible. Right, oh god, endless, endless events here. 
Uh, ammunition dealer is not worth my time, in my opinion. Keeping this van fueled up absolutely is. Take out some fuel, take out some other fuel. Let's fuel her up. <laughs> so the van will phase out of reality by exploding. Well, I certainly hope not. It would be kind of cool and even more punitive if vehicles that got destroyed lost all their fuel. But imagine the, the sheer pain of that. Not only, if you're stranded on the other side of the map, you have to find a toolbox or another vehicle and some fuel. Thankfully, fuel is a lot easier to come by than toolboxes. And you can... you're a lot more easily going to intuitively find fuel. Because you'll... You'll look in jerry cans. You'll look in gas stations. But where's a toolbox going to be? Could be anywhere. Could be in someone's shed. Could be in a petrol station. Could be in a hardware store. But it also could be in none of those places. Oh, man. It took no time at all to get down here compared to going from that other... Oh, I don't like this. Uh, that was the opposite of threading the needle. Restaurant had a few health code violations, but they Let's just uh, back up a bit. Bonk. I have a feeling this is going to get a little unnecessarily deadly, but surely nothing Herbert can't handle, he says as his sword starts breaking. There we go. Katana Machete is now damaged. I need to get that repaired. Or I could use a different weapon. Some people might reasonably think that it's not worth anybody's time repairing melee weapons, since it costs a lot. They're common and they can be broken down. But I have a different opinion. If it's good, keep it in good condition. Break down the crap instead and use that to repair. This is one of those events that feel, or one of these missions that feel really out of place in State of Decay 2. We are fighting for our very lives. Why are we, why are we giving this guy a hard time for going and getting us some medicine? Maybe if it was more obvious that these are uh, not medical drugs, but then gameplay-wise they do end up being the same as anything else. Like a rucksack full of gauzes. Oh, okay, well that's a lovely find if we get food as well. Herbie here is now tired, and I don't have a coffee on hand for him, so he's just going to have to tough it out. Just leave that junk in there, leave us space for things. There's no taking this place over, we're in plague territory. But it's only claimed by one plague heart, and we don't even know where it is, it's probably down here. There's a lot of different missions in this game, but at the same time, not enough. After you've played a couple campaigns, you'll have seen them all, and you'll be kind of wishing there were different ones, because you immediately know what they're going to give you, which is a slight bummer. Hey, are you sure that bringing home a big stash of drugs isn't going to cause any trouble? Don't worry, there should be enough for everybody. <laughs> Stolen prescription drugs. I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine that being a thing, but that's part of living in glorious Europe. Oh, you know what? Petrol station can remain unlooted. Plague territory is a bad place to hang out for too long. I'm inclined to agree. Let's get back with our stolen drugs. Now I hear that feral. Let's just not have that feral catch up with us. And be swift with our skedaddling. Ooh, that's not something I can make. I've dragged enough cars out of ditches to know I don't even want to do it in a video game. Which always puts me in mind of those games Mudrunner and Snowrunner. Which I'm pretty sure was formerly called Spin Tires. It's a miserable experience. 
dealing with cars in thick snow and or thick mud. And it's certainly not something I want to emulate in a game. Nonetheless, I had it recommended to me, probably by people that didn't grow up on farms. There's some prescription drug people might steal things for other than medicating, says Punk Broccoli. Well, that sounds like a them problem. Check the expiration date on those drugs, people. We don't know where they came from. Hey, and by doing that, Herbie's become a hero, which gives us his hero bonus. Unfortunately, plus five max health is laughably pathetic. Could be the difference between life and death, but that's really rather unlikely. Keep the van Dito put away in as good nick as we found it, because he did put this van through its paces. Repair his weapon, and he can take a break. Repairing the katana machete is... Oh god, I'm not so sure I want to spend 75 repairing that. Going against what I just said, but... It's got great lethality and speed, though. Mm, yeah, I'll give it a repair then. Just the lengths I'm willing to go for you, Herb. Ditch the stuff and switch on over. She's still de-infecting, disinfecting, but I'm still going to switch over to Sosa. It's time for you to prove yourself. You've got discipline, your fighting is pathetic. At least if we lose you, we lose nobody of value because music... Yeah. Plus two morale for everybody, and another plus five for this, but honestly, come on Sosa, could you be better at music please? Probably not. How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. Mm, I was just talking about not needing more 762 rounds, but you are out of them. Although, where we're going, I know it pays to have a good weapon where we're going. But on the other hand, we're going to pick up new weapons where we're going. So I might take... Jeez, oh, what, what, what do I actually want where I'm going here? Ooh, nobody's using the prepper as 1022. There's a lot of bullets in that thing. If I could just add a nice mod to it... If the game could load the graphics for the mods to it. A break? An advanced break? Would probably make it pretty powerful. Yeah, look at the power on this thing. And it still remains quite quiet. Hey, now, how about that? I find it hard to believe you can put something on the end of a gun to make it stronger, but as I've said many times, I'm not a gun person. I don't know how it all works. Take that. Take some... Uh, not those. Take some meds. And whilst the metal bat is good, it's not good for this job. Where's the beetle mallet? Somebody have the beetle mallet on them. Ah, Krivens, I'll have to check, find who has it, and take it off of them. Oh, well, there it is. Immediately find Kaladin holding on to it. There's a bat for you, Kaladin. And I get to keep the bullets. This looks like an incredibly comfy base. I'd certainly want to do up some of the walls in the barn, but maybe we can find some Amish people to help out with that. Yeah, yeah, I can get behind this. We, we spend a ton of materials though, holy moly. It's actually tempting to build a staging area just to stop spending so many materials. Having a staging area alone would reduce all of those um, material costs. One, two, three, four five if I get another uh, farm operational. So you might as well treat that as having income of materials. You know what, let's build one. Really have to replenish our supply of However, uh, no, I won't do it just yet. I need more construction materials, which we can find, but not just yet. Two remaining hearts. Which heart? Well, maybe we should take out the hearts close by first. That way we'll have a bigger, cleaner, less deadly area. Although I wish I knew what influenced all this red miasma. Like, how do you make places less deadly? Maybe you can't? I don't know. Because I cleared all the hearts here, but this still remains horribly miasma-like. 
Okay, is there anything else I want? Yes, one mistake I made before was not taking C4 charges and not taking uh, fire. Fire's really good for dispersing these alms that come our way. Is that one of your facetious remarks, Young, or have you actually noticed good results from just going around an area slaughtering lots of zombies? Because I've been killing an awful lot of zombies. I know the go-to remark is that I cowardly hide in upstairs bits of barns, and whilst that does happen, it happens in a controlled and measured environment. Right, it's important for me to find safe areas to go when things hit the fan here. And I do not like using ruined, burnt-out cars. So let's see what else there is. Anything in here? Oh, there's a horde! I need a rest. Well, this is an unfortunate place to be. Glad to hear it, young. Super glad to hear it. I've got an excellent gun here. I shouldn't really need to fear ferals unless I get multi feraled. There is that tractor. I think we can hide on top of tractors. That's a no. No, we cannot. I can't keep this up. There are a lot of ways that this can go wrong, and not a lot of ways it can go right. I could hide on top of my own van, actually. But then, if I use fire to disperse of the zombies, that's going to set fire to the van, and that's as bad as it sounds. Very bad. I could do this one quickly, on the other hand. C4, detonate, fire, C4, and then, uh, then I just get the hell out of here, no matter what's chasing me. Go, 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 Sosa. We can't have this streamer. Hello, my friend. Bring a lot of friends to the yard. Look, I don't particularly care for your issues there, Ray. Okay, this is going to be a risky one for Sosa. Ugh, made all the more risky by the door being locked. I don't want to break that down and invite all the zombies in so soon. Oh, hello, zombie! Get out! Get out! If there are any other zombies indoors, they certainly heard that. Okay. Not too bad, and they've afforded me a way in. We just have to get this done. Thank you, zombies. Mm -hmm. Well, first and foremost... We lay that down. Secondly, well, that's chug some time. juice, and now... <sighs> Looking forward to how bad this goes. I hear the feral. I see the feral! Maybe I can just blow it up? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That worked the opposite of good. I think I killed the feral there. Watch out, feral. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh oh, we got a very dead Sosa here. Oh my god. Wow, that was unexpected and grim, and someone needs to go and get that stuff back ASAP, because she has the good stuff. Oh. Holy moly. You've heard many hands make life work, right? Work's pretty damn heavy right now. Not, not the time, Kaladin. I got stuff to go and recover right now. 
Oh, I don't have shotgun shells. Did I install the shotgun shell making mod? Yeah. Let's have some 12 gauges operational. Yeah. Where were you the day the music died? Low on ammo and that thing, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. All of them. Err, 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 err. Oh, the van is out there as well. At least it's not that far. But, uh... Yeah, Beck, you gotta be ready for this. But like I said, Sosa was the most expendable person there. And if she couldn't handle taking it... Why did I leave behind all that ammo? I need that ammo. I'm not really sure I need this C4, do I? Nah, nah, sometimes there's simply too much. That was grim. Killed the feral, turned around, three more ferals. And since I was going the opposite direction of the van, running back to the van was too much to bear. Still, I hope we find Sosa. This should clear up. Aether's so happy to see Sosa dead. Must be Bolivian. Oh, jeez, it's not getting better. That's an everything horde right there. Just not risk you causing me some grief. Now, apparently, ferals are blind, making it all the more impressive how swiftly they can be on you. Now, unlike Sosa, Beck is the A game. I cannot be losing him. It would be bad. But again, where is Sosa? I need to find her and get those goodies back. I love that hammer that she has. Which in retrospect, maybe... Nah, nah I sent her out as, as much as I was willing to kit her up for it. Come on, I got I gotta make some speed here. As long as this is plate territory, this place ain't never gonna feel safe. Now Sosa got ripped apart. I don't know if she got back up though. Outcome unclear. But this is not the time to be dealing with the play cart. It's time for dealing with Sosa. She died on the way back to it. Oh, <laughs> Duff does not want to give me an easy time today. And I think they noticed me. How do they know I'm here? Oh dear. How, how do they know? How do they know? Gotta remember what we're here for. Eyes open for Sosa. If I can find her, then that's a lot of the problem dealt with. Is that her over there? No, it's just dead bodies. Surprised this hasn't attracted a feral, but... It is possible that Sosa got up, I suppose. Let's see, we shot that feral, ran in this direction, saw them coming, tried to run back. Oh, I'm not seeing her. I'm seeing a lot of other problems that I'm making for myself here, though. 
Hey, what? Get over that, please. God damn it, damn it, damn it. This is gonna be grim. It sounded like she turned when she died. Alright, thanks for that. At least I can put that knowledge to he knows I'm here. Jeez, I am not equipped for taking out a big old juggernaut on my Todd. Juggernaut's certainly equipped for taking me out, though. Ay, ay, ay. I didn't think she died of plague, but uh, perhaps, 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 perhaps I should just get the van and go, because I'm not seeing her body here at all. But I am not in a position to be getting that van. Bring him to the base, Jake. Rather not. Not yet, at least. Alright, that was good. You get enough distance on them, you can generally lose them. Generally. <laughs> Celebrating survivor deaths. Well, they're not survivors anymore, I guess. Damn, losing that beetle mallet, that excellent 2-2 rifle. The C4. Fuel bombs, that's too much to bear. Where is she? Usually survivor turned corpses are easy to note. And I'm not entirely convinced she got up again. Because she died to ferals, and ferals usually... Oh no, you get a cutscene if they completely rip you to shreds, don't you? She will turn up sooner or later, but I, I want it to be sooner and not later. I can't see her body anywhere here. A sad occurrence. Right, if I get the van back and then we come out here with Beck with a different heavy weapon and we take care of that plague heart, we'll do it for her. Maybe Sosa's just trying to protect my wallet, making sure we don't get those plague hearts dealt with. One of Red Talon's priorities is restoring our country's infrastructure. Don't be alarmed if you can spot our agents exploring the bridges or dams in your area. Sounds like a lie. Just trying to clear a few of them from around the van so that I can get the van out safely. Oh yeah, we found Callum a long time after he got uh, destroyed. Well, after a long time after he died. Which was really nice. Glad to see he was doing alright. Even as a zombie. Let's just uh, be gone here. Use the headlights to sweep the area. Anybody see a body that looks like it belongs to one of our survivors? What is that? Are any of you my uh, my old buddies? My old comrados? Uh, not that I can tell. Look, I'm sure she's floating around somewhere. Is that her? Hold on, is that her? No, I think that was just a regular Zombambo. Curses. That was unsatisfying. You're alive. Yay for you. There's a pretty big yay for me. Alright, going out with C4. I shouldn't need that much. And, 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 and. Brick hammer's alright, but sledgehammer's the best. Well, the best that I have now. I want to make sure I got those fuel bombs. 
and I want to well I'll fuel up the um, fuel up the van a bit more since I've been using it a bit, and then of course make sure I'll take the stimulants this time, and I'll take some strong painkillers. Ugh, morale is not so great here thanks to that death. Herbert is hit the least by the death. Funnily enough, he doesn't he doesn't care so much. All right, everybody, let's play some games to improve morale. Maybe ring a Molotov? I brought some fuel bombs, which are upgraded versions of Molotovs. Yukon had fuel bombs, but fuel bombs and Molotovs and fire in general does not affect... Uh, does not affect... What am I talking about? Ferals. Doesn't affect ferals. They are immune to fire. You know, ferals like that! go, somebody taking care of that for me. Reduce that zombie threat. Now eyes peeled, if we see Yukon, and Yukon will be a very strange looking blood, uh, blood zombie, a blood plague zombie. Then I want her dead and I want to loot her. There we go, disperse with some of them. Hope that our friend old Plague Boy isn't still there. Let's get this job done. Fuck, my eyes are burning. Okay, running on empty. Bye bye, Plague Heart. And uh, bye bye me. I gotta pop that heart open before we're doing any celebration here. Oh my god, get off the van! You know what, let's make it a double celebration. You've got what it takes back. Here closely at any uh, batch of Zeds we go by, just in case Yukon is. Oh, it's a bloater! What? No, 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 We all right? Where's that? Ho oh, oh! I wasn't at the heart. It's gonna be a pain if I want to run back to my truck in a hurry, because I gotta go through all that. This thing, yeah, the horse carrier it carries other things. I once carried a motorbike and a horse carrier. it is. Lock picking is a pretty rare skill if I recall. It's not a particularly useful skill in my opinion because I don't tend to have a problem with just bursting into places if the need arises. But currently the need does not arise. And oh, oh look another horse carrier. Convenient. We know there are zombies inside so that's going to be unpleasant for me. I can hear them can see them. But uh, how about we just don't have them? Whoa! Jeez. Oh, double jeez. Get off of me. Where were you hiding? I'm less glad. Jeez. Oh, I didn't even do any damage to that plague heart, and I've already got feral on me. 
Uh, ferals uh, on me. Go, 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 go! Get up to relative safety. Ah. Uh, I wonder if that's the same multi. Oh, they can get up here! Why? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Get off of me. I didn't come here to lose back. Oh! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! I meant to throw that behind me and not in front of me. One good mistake deserves another. Oh! <laughs> that was terrifying. It's not one feral, it's three ferals. They can come up to my so-called safe spot. Beck's almost dead. It's a Christmas miracle, right? We're all gonna miss having her around. <laughs> Beck. And Beck's wondering, what about me? Get help, okay? Thankfully. I kept some plague cure behind, right? Yeah. Beck is actually just going to get healed up and be sent straight back out there, which I suppose is very unfortunate for him. But I used a ton of my C4 on that. C4 costs a lot to make. In fact, I, I can't even make C4 because I need to upgrade the... Me Wait, what? Knowledge of mechanics to upgrade it? I could have sworn I... Oh, we had a built-in, even better um, workshop in the last place. I actually need to upgrade this one with more materials to make it do more C4. I'll have to keep that in mind. And I didn't want to keep that in mind. I'll make more shoddy shells whilst I have this thing installed. And put in a... Give me materials if it had power. It's not unthinkable to install a bike generator. Okay, holy moly. If I was thinking faster, I would use this shotgun for the ferals that were coming my way. Faster way to dispatch them. I did some decent damage, I think, because I'm pretty sure I C4 charged that, um, that heart. But it needs to be C4 charged some more. So I'm sorry, Beck, but you got to get back in there. Yeah, he's not banged up much at all. He'll be okay. Marbles when we pop open the uh, the plague hearts. Those were destroyed, but I still gotta pop them. Now I don't like overdoing bets and on. They have a time and a place, and it's not everywhere and all the time. There we go. It's not popped open. That one's popped open. That one's not popped open. This one's not destroyed. But hey, if I take care of both of them. Should be that all the area around here becomes a little less deadly. I'd like to say a lot less, but experience so far has taught us that no, it doesn't become lots less deadly. Those feral packs, though. Whoa, it's scary stuff. And I knew that parking the van further away would hurt me. I just still didn't consider simply driving it closer. Uh oh, I can't see Jack here. Never drive without not seeing. That's exactly how you get bloaters bloating you up. Ooh, I see there's a... There's a caravan here. That's a bit better. Oh, that's a lot better, actually. Big swings, big C4s. You got this, man. Ow! 
as expected. Oh crumbs, where to leave the where to leave the van? Where to leave everything? Right. That is what I intended to do with the fire. Because whilst it doesn't hurt the ferals, it does stop them from pursuing for a little bit. And it certainly helps out with all of those, uh, all those zombs. Where are the ferals, though? Maybe it stunned them so long they gave up the... Ah, there we go. Alright, where are you at? Where are you at? Good to know though, we learnt a very important lesson. Ferals climb up onto the horse containers. And that feral's gotta go. Good, give me more of that. Give me another scream. Sometimes they scream after being shot in the head and you just chain mauling them that way. But I'm not getting that here it seems. Where'd he go? Come on, Feral. Good. One more. I certainly brought a lot of friends, and there's my truck there. A daring getaway as possible, but that play cart's gotta go. see the feral on my map so I can't just uh, tag it so I can keep a track of its movements but I don't see it anymore which is a shame it's also a good way to keep track and see if we can find uh, blood plagued Yukon no, not Yukon Sosa Sosa's useless one where is that feral I think it's just down in the thick of it all Gotta be careful though, jumping down there can be super deadly. I'm thinking though, let's do this. Might flush out the feral. Where the heck is it? It's down there. It's definitely down there. I can still hear it. Wasn't that Sosa? I didn't see a Sosa. Oh yeah, we've had a death already, Ninja. And it wasn't a pleasant one for me. Right, that... That feral doesn't want to make itself seen. I will make it seen. do. A few swings will take care of that play cart. I don't need to C4 it again. Waste my precious C4. And it is precious. It costs a lot of materials to be making uh, C4s. I, gotta make this quick. I could do. I really gotta make it quick. Get your, get your everything back. Come on. There we go, and let's pop it. Grab what we can, which is almost everything. What am I going to drop? What am I going to drop? Forget it. We'll leave that there. Where to leave the van? I see that bloater, and I will not be having that bloater ruin my day. Where's the feral? There's the feral. Thank you. How greedy are we feeling? Oh gee, I'm getting stuck on it. Oh, too stuck on it. Get off of me, get off of me. I'm gonna lose more than the door at this rate, come on. We got... Two of these to pop, so we can get double marble racing going. Yeah, I hear them, I hear them. 
And I see that bloater. He sees me. And uh, I think that was multi-feral behind me. It certainly is. Hopefully that was enough distance for the ferals not to give chase, but it's hard to tell. That uh, might be alright. Oh Christ, don't be screaming. Don't be screaming, that'll bring them running. Oh, speaking of bringing them running. Ah, sheesh. Where are the ferals? That's one. There was another one. Maybe I killed it? One of them died in the fire, really? And here I am Shit, saying that... Screamer. Here I am saying that ferals don't die to fire. Let's make that two of these things popped. Heavy. I can't carry that much. Uh, you could try though. Good enough for me. Now let's vamoose. Better leave the van. Whoa! Big risk on Beck, but he managed what uh, Sosa couldn't times two. Yeah, I figures I want to get on my vehicle. I'll just tweak them off. I am certainly very glad I found all those toolkits earlier. Let's get back to base and celebrate with some marbles. I think when they lose their head armor, they can't. Well, can you kill ferals? Is that Sosa? I'm, I'm paranoid now. I'm looking everywhere for Sosa because I want that beetle mallet back. She'll turn up eventually, but heavens knows when. I was hoping if I got out there fast enough I'd be able to find her. Could you leave a dummy car running to attract zombies in the opposite end of a loot zone while you... No, running cars don't attract zombies. They only attract zombies if there's someone in them. The zombies have a sixth sense for that. You know what, just make a bulk plague cure and then crack it open. And there we go, that'll cleave through my uh, my stuff there quite nicely. It's good on fuel, and yeah, I'm good on finding... Uh, I might have to equip that because I don't have the rifle rounds. I was just talking about how, not, how I don't need the rifle rounds, and now I feel like I need them. Provide power, power with labor. On you go then. Somebody will not enjoy running that, but that's okay. Ooh, well, I like the cows on that. Unload, store away, unload, store away. Actually, maybe it's better having a gun that can actually fire with bullets than one that does not. Much as we love the sighted scar, this raider thing has high capacity drum magazine. Loses semi. Oh, it's full auto. Oh, forget that. I'm not good with full auto. And Beck is not good with being a dead man, so let's get him in and repairing. So as I was spotted by chat. Where? I, mean, I wouldn't mind going back and grabbing some more of the stuff that we left behind there, but for now our good friend needs to take a lie down and someone else needs to step up. At least everybody that we do have is a hero. Kaladin's a... Cald is a great guy that I don't want to lose, that's for sure. Wouldn't mind losing Yukon. Yukon needs to get out there. First though, let's make sure that whilst your weapons here are great, drop the sledgehammer. Alright, Yukon's taking over. 
you like trash. But before Yukon does anything, and I think our first order of business will be trying to find Sosa, if you saw Sosa out there. I see one hero's missing. How did you manage to lose Voomer? Oh, Voomer died in a siege. Very unfortunate. To... She took too many plague hits, I suppose. It's a little unclear how she died, but she certainly died from plague. She was immediately put out of her, uh, her misery. I thought Sosa was climbing in as Jake hopped out of the house seven minutes ago. Not sure I can take that as uh, a belief that Sosa is over there, but when day breaks, it wouldn't hurt to go and have a look. However, first and foremost, it's marble time. It's double marble time because we just popped two plague hearts. Sadly, I have to rerun marbles each time or else it's too much to handle, but... But, but, but... Come on, marble game. Load up for me. While we're at it, can we get some... Um, can we get some Domina? Yeah, because there's certainly no State of Decay music going on right now. As soon as it's marble time, viewer count jump, come, viewer count jump by 20. Oh, there'll be some savvy people, no doubt, to have... Programs to run to figure out when the best time to do this is. So, marbles, time-honored tradition here on the channel. When we want to be doing a... Oi, oh, I shouldn't be showing all that now, should we? Get away. Actually, do get away. There we go. Uh, whenever we want to do a giveaway... I mean, I have various ways of doing them, but I keep coming back to the marbles because I find it great fun to watch the marble races. I will just close my eyes and pick one. We're picking you, the alienated. And we're going to go for it with viewers up to 500. So once the map loads in, if you hit exclamation mark join in chat, you will become a marble. Whoa, wasn't expecting it to make noise. What's with this thing? Uh, oh no, it's exclamation mark play, not exclamation mark join. So sucks to be the people getting it wrong. Funny to see the first time chatters, right? The people who've clearly just come into panhandle. So let's uh, let's name and shame. We've got my op who's doing this. CW Shock, although to be fair, they're a five month subscriber, and this is the first thing they say here. Who else is a first timer? Etim double underscore, Lige Day, Completionist Style, Venom, Adaptus123, Pandy Bear. Panhandlers, the lot of them. Although, I am impressed by somebody being around for five months, and this is the first time they join in. So, we might as well cover the rules so that everyone knows what they're getting into. If you place first place in this marble race, you will get a free game of your choice, on the platform of your choice, insofar as I can provide. I think I live in one of the most expensive places for buying Steam games, so it should be possible to gift to just about anyone. I've only had one person I fail at doing that to. I'll find some way to make it work. However... Once you're the winner, you've got uh, a bit of a weight on your shoulders. If you aren't feeling in the festive mood, you could keep that gift for yourself. But if you are feeling generous, you can choose two other people that placed in the top ten and choose them to get the gift instead. So instead of giving out one gift, I'd be giving out two. But it wouldn't be to you. We'll see what comes of that. Maybe it won't come to anything. Maybe it'll come to everything. How do I get the names displaying? I swear there was a hotkey for that. There we go. Right, we're all in, so let's uh, let's wonder how to start the game. There's start. There are the names. Ten seconds. Last chance to get in. It's Menked is joining in for the first time as well. First time chatter using it to join in this. What is it coming to? Why don't you on enter as well? Because I forgot to. Um, I will try to remember for the next one. Okay, who's coming out of the big old peggle board to begin with? It was Finian, but Finian is having great difficulty coming down this two-way. We've got USRB1. USRB1's blasting away down this side. It spreads out into two. As they lead on their side, who leads on the other? Well, nobody worth knowing. USRB's got a clean lead. Can they conserve that? No, they're getting pegged hard here in the little peg zone. And that gives Sige a chance to come forward. Now it's the alien abduction time. Oh, and Mucus gets thrown away by an alien. Right, blasting off. We've got Stassi on this side, Pandy Bear on the other. Stassi's looking good. Raziel looking all right. Just a mechanic and Frights falling to their death as we enter the uh, strange cornfield. How fitting. That's where our base is in State of Decay. 
Now, coming through this, Raziel's got a good advantage. Siggy A and or not, Nuck. Oh, TBW's coming in! I hear he wanted Idle Manager desperately on Steam, but he doesn't want to buy it himself, so he's doubtlessly getting in here so he can have somebody else buy it for him. Raziel, recurring name here, having a good advantage of Tendonai and Runic and Tamago, all giving them a run for their money as we go up the mysterious anti gravity chute. Bugster goes up too much, falls to their untimely death. Tendronai and Runic going in, but Runic might get abducted by the aliens! Ooh, manages to avoid a close encounter there. Uh, Runic looks like they're in the lead here. Lots of people flying off to their dead. Well, Runic, a real runner here. Tendronai. Tendronai and Runic. It's coming down to these two, but somebody else could still blast their way in as we come up towards the very ending. The ending is moving! So even if you're first one there, if you don't get the 50-50 just right, you are in for a bad time. Tendronai goes flying, Delran goes flying, the alien is causing all sorts of mayhem. Oh, sorry Tendronai, you were so close to the end there, but you got abducted and a person coming in! Bang! Health 1 made it just moments before TBW, the Black Winds himself, the Big Bear of Brazil. He just couldn't cut it. Health made it in first. Everybody gets jostled around, but what matters is you get in here first. Health is one. El Coro coming in at number three, Crow Spot for four, Siggy A at five. But you know, what matters is coming in first. Oh, Marvin representing the mods, but he's coming in way too late, it seems. So, health. Health has earned something important here. The right to choose. Health can claim their free game. I mean, it wasn't enough that they got uh, Love Enhancer in RimWorld. They also now get to win here. Some people get all the luck. Or if they feel rather festive, they can choose two people from the top ten to get a free game of their choosing. So we ask Health, are you generous or are you a Grinch? Meantime, we can check out the final results and see what people are saying. Damn, didn't expect that. Well, you have to claim and claim fast because if the person that comes in first doesn't claim, Goes to the next one down. Be sure to make your choice. Whoa, they're being generous! Okay, who are they choosing to get the prize here? So Health is going to forgo it and give it to two people from the top ten. TBW, Alcoro, Close Spot, Sigier, Iris Collector, Patient, Aether, Gravoid, or Username is Arisen. Arisen is happy that they're in the top ten. Peyton's happy that they got seventh, which is better than ten. At least I survived, says Sigier. Don't feel so smug about me losing, says TBW. I was gonna gift it to Orlov. It's because Orlov is the princess around here. Alright, TBW and Elk are getting it. I will write that down in a little note. And that means it is going to them. They're not allowed to go, no, no, give mine to someone else. You win, you get. So on my little notebook here, to give is to TBW and Elkoro. I'll even make a little note on my thing here that Health was the winner and gave it out. So good going, Health. You're being a lovely person. Now maybe Health is doing this because they think that I'm just going to spike the winner with Patrician 4 codes if they choose to be greedy. I will do no such thing. If you win, you get the game of your choice. I'm not spiking this one. However... And this is a big however. We rolled two of these because we popped two play cards. Health as the winner, you get to choose the next track. You can just choose a number if you like, a number between 1 and 60, and that's what we'll do. Unless it's a repeat, I'm not doing Invasion again. And then that's what we're going to run for our next winner or winners. And I'll be sure to enter this time. And you better believe I'm going to be a Grinch. I wonder what game I'd gift myself. Maybe Lost Ruins, but I already bought that. Oh, I could write it off then. Uh, 53 says health. We are going for Haunted Hills. Let's do it. Safid says I gift to others just to cost Jake more. What a, what a horrible person you are. All right, I will join in myself. Number one right there. So who do we have joining in? Andarius, Pizza Rific, I think I saw Twink Fox there, Marvin's back in. FG's Ninjins coming in. Dark Young. Health is back in to try and win again. Man, imagine that. Two wins for Health and just dishing them out. This this one seems to have music of its own. 
Yeah, we'll let this game, we'll let this level's spooky music play out itself. Okay, you've had plenty of time to join in. Raziel getting in there at the end. Let's get it going. Final 10 seconds are all you have. I saw Roman Blood trying to join in at the very last moment. Was it enough? I don't think so. All right, let's a go. How does this work? So everybody goes down into the soup. They roll around inside this big cauldron. And how do they get out of the cauldron? How do I get out of the cauldron? Ah, out we come. Down this long line here. What in the world has happened to Solmir? Solmir has been captured by some kind of strange orb and is no clipping their way through the level. How did they manage that? What in God's name are they doing? What in... Uh, okay, well, uh, that's what you get for trying to cheat. Right, back to the actual race here. Okay, Taciturn is also trying to cheat. Well, it seems like the cheaters get destroyed. Coming out here is Desingus leading the fray as they do the big charge here. As they come along the corner, they lose that. I see TBW once again, the front runner. Well, you know, once again, second place front runner. Venom blasts off. They all go up and into the aforementioned haunted mansion. Wait, it's the hills that are haunted. It's just a regular mansion. Down they come through this suspiciously dark area. And then going down the stairs. It's, it's hard for me to actually make my way around here because I can't see Jack. Keep getting caught in the terrain. Wish I could no clip around here. I always found this map a bit strange. Things just float around. Kind of hard to tell what's going on or meant to be going on. In any case, Zingus is not letting go of that pole position for a moment. They're fighting for it every step of the way, which is good. Struggle. Struggle to the very last. But at this last mysterious bit of lifting up, it's Venom that is very slowly rolling their way to victory. Can they make it? Where are they going? Where, where indeed are they going? They just suddenly stop here and start rolling in this direction. The course is invisible. It certainly is. I guess it's an invisible course and they just build the, uh, the haunted house around it. Still, mysterious floating. Where are people even trying to go? I suppose... Ah, okay, now the course becomes a bit more visible. Down into the strange, gassy bit. Venom. Zingus is still fighting, but losing along the way. Venom's taking it away. Alchemist, Volcron, Craxeed. The ending is right here, though. Who's going to be the first to take it? It's looking good. Oh, well, it was looking good for you there, but Aweg comes in for the win. Slowly, insidiously, clawing their way to the front. And now everybody else just starts chattering in. Oh, there's me. Good going, me. So, a wag comes in first place, then there's Alchemist, Volcron, Venom, Aster, Kraxic, K, Executable, Singus, and Koi. But there comes the question. Will a wag take the prize? Or will they generously hand it over to other members of the race? If they wish to give it away, they can choose it from the top ten. They're not saying anything, though. They better make a decision and make it fast. Meanwhile, we'll see what the DNRs have to say for themselves, for filthy cheats. They're just laughing, laughing at the idea that they try to throw the race. Why must you always say my name with such disgust? Probably because that's my feeling for people that place 137th out of 142 people that can finish a game of marbles for kids. But, you know, that's just me. Bellcat in, saying that Volcron almost got it. They did, and the map is confusing. We should avoid this one in the future. <laughs> Resty pointing out that there's no rules against cheating. Correct, there are not. Achweg is saying, gift them. Well, you have to choose who it goes to, and you have to choose from the ten leaders here. My Magic Ball says to give them players three and nine. So Volcron, and Z well, Zingus ends up winning after all. Doing so well in the race. All right, very good. We're going for a wag, and they are going to gift it to. I can hear that ticking, can't I? It was Volcron, and number nine was Zingus. Now you can make my life a lot easier by adding me on Steam or direct messaging me on Twitch, whispering, I believe it's called these days, to let me know what the games you want are. But otherwise, I will not rest for an instant until I track you down and get you your just desserts. In any case, good job. Four gifts out for uh, DN DNFs. There we go. 
phrase died in my mouth. Can I send you a D? Yeah, Discord uh, works perhaps even the best for all of those. So, jolly good, but it's time to get back to the state of dismay as we continue to feel bad for the loss of one of our team. So away you go, and back we go to here. I don't think I'll cut out the marble races from this on YouTube. I want the people who've missed it live to know exactly what they missed out on. Ah, damn, I love this incredibly quiet snow fox, but it uses seven... 60-somethings, which I do not have a lot of. Well, you could even say I don't have any of. And you'd be right. Maybe I should have made more of them. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, if nothing else, I can be carrying that silenced weapon with me. And since I fear that I might get into some hot water, let's make sure you're carrying some extra bullets. And let's make sure you've got an anti-feral drink and an anti dying drink. I'm probably going to take strong painkillers instead of weak ones from now on because those ferals are ripping me apart. And I'm ripping my way into these toolboxes. Good thing I found over a dozen of them. Was it a dozen? Was it eight? How many toolboxes did I end up with? I just ended up drowning in them. Oh, okay. Maybe I don't have as many as I thought. But hey, taking out plague hearts is dangerous work, so I don't begrudge this. Chumro is shining in with bits of plenty, saying thank you for the marble race and Merry Christmas. Oh, it certainly is a Merry Christmas. All the more merry with that, Chumro, so cheers to you. Right. Although we have popped open these play cards, I actually want to finish them off just so these areas are good and done with. And I do want to take the opportunity to try and desperately find our fallen comrade. Well, you have no melee weapon? It's unlike me. Everybody needs a melee weapon. It sucks to just use the close combat thing. Something light would do you just fine. Light, light. Oh, the RTX Extermination Blade is a very good choice. This gun is so low on bullets. This place is like a fucking beacon for zombies. It's alright, we can handle some big fights. Actually, maybe not so much now that we're down one person. Essentially, it bothers me having these unopened play carts on the map, so if we just go and take care of that, no harm, no fuss. Donk. Please, game. This, this area should be safer. <laughs> it doesn't feel very safe at all. Okay. Backpack and police knife. And hey, there we go, we got power to this workshop. For how long, I don't know. Hopefully plenty of time. And it's going to provide extra materials for us, although I already want to be able to produce better bullets from it. Speaking of, couldn't I upgrade this, get some more? No, we need chemistry knowledge. We need other knowledge. And I don't actually like that medical tent. Even though it's proven to be a pretty invaluable thing, I want my outposts to be down here. So I'll abandon that one later on. Or whenever I can. I am really impressed at the ferals, by the way. Those ferals jumping up up there to give me a spook, multiple of them. It's great. Are you Sosa? Hold on, are you? You look different. That looks very different for a survivor. That look like any survivor I've ever seen. No, I guess not. If it was so sad, I would have been told by now. This might not have been a good idea. I've brought all the zombies over here. This is about to get out of hand, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Let's just hope a feral doesn't come and complicate matters. This is Sosa paranoia for you. I think I see Sosa everywhere. It must be the guilt driving me mad. I suppose one of the downsides of big open places like this is it's uh, very easy.
Very easy to get a lot of zombies on you with no reasonable way of dealing with them. I mean, I could kill them all, but let's just get out of here, shall we? It wasn't so set. No need to complicate matters. Please don't get in the front of my vehicle. Ah, uh, you got in front of my vehicle, but I think I can spin to win to get you off. There we go. Credit where it's due. It is less deadly here now. Oh, please, no. Don't, don't make more noise. <laughs> Just got away from all this. And again, where do people think they saw Sosa? What was I doing at the time? Which play cart was I by? Is that an actual window? Yeah, it is. Don't want to break that. Like many great artists, Sosa only gets popular after her death. My bad, it was Voomer. Couldn't have been Voomer. We already killed Voomer. The first one you took out. Oh, now I can't remember which one that was. Oh, it was the one with no cover, wasn't it? So, not this one. No, I didn't touch this. Did not ditch the stuff in the van. My mistake. Should definitely be doing that. Oh, and there's stuff to search here. Just gets better and better. Right, safe zone first. Why can't everywhere be this quiet? There we go, go. Oh, I think I opened the play cart through the through the wall there. Good going, Yukon. Ah, thank you, zombie. Less of that. I'm sure Voomer only regrets exactly just having one life to give. Mmm, imported dark chocolate from a tiny European country that probably doesn't exist anymore. Mmm, Yugoslavia? I can't imagine Yugoslavian chocolate being that great. Because it's probably just like Russian nice. chocolate, and Russian chocolate Ish. is bad. And maybe there's good Russian chocolate, but I tried a I tried a lot of different ones. They were really bad. Okay, time to put this place behind us. It is, and very conveniently, full backpack load of stuff as we exit. Okay, whilst it is still deadly, it is clearly a lot less deadly without that play cart here. Republic of Macedonia. I think you mean North Macedonia. <laughs> oh, I, I love saying that to any Macedonians that come around here. Because I'm sure no matter what they try to sound like, it does get under their skin. I mean, kowtowing to Greeks. Is there any greater shame? Don't answer that one because it's something the world should never know. Hmm. Combat knife, police knife. I mean, I don't know which of these knives are better. It's all close combat. Rusty screwdriver gets the job done. <laughs> Being Greek. There's always someone poorer, right? Yeah. Triple, double, triple uh, freak pack there. I shouldn't have antagonized these screamers, but what can I say? Playing fast and loose with everything here. Let's keep the van in a nice central location and make a safe zone if we can. Preferably... Preferably not have these Zombambos give me any grief. There we go. Nice thing about this sword is it's really quiet. Lost two materials, that's bad. Wait, wasn't I meant to be making a staging area? Oh no, one of them decided to scream. It's incredible how loud regular zombies are when they scream. Right, I'm just gonna get over here, 
duck down a bit to gain my stamina back as quickly as possible. Sure, they're still streaming, but with that amount of stamina and with this RTX murder blade. It's Yukon Ho. Phew. There's always someone poorer, Jake. People often get caught trying to illegal illegally immigrate to Brazil! <laughs> what? That sounds like a, a story that you tell your kids to make them feel better about being Brazilian. Oh, don't worry, there's all those poor kids from other poorer countries that want to come here now. Shut up and eat your moldy bread for breakfast. Mm, my backpack's gonna get real full real soon here. Love that execution. It's probably the way it was told to TBW. <laughs> Hey, TBW comes out of here today a winner. For the moment, at least. Let's grab that. Was that a metal bat? Good, because wooden bats are bad and metal bats are good. Hey, now, I didn't take charge of Brazil in Hoi. I took charge of Brazil in... Uh, Victoria 2. A game which I'm getting really hot under the collar wanting to play more of, but then I just remember how painful a game it is to play. I was watching Calvin play as Jamaica and just thinking, oh man, I wish I was doing that. But I've just got this, this to urge here. to build. I want to play a game where I just build things. Create things. Sell things. You know how it is. Down you go. Hopefully I didn't make any friends there. Mm, I need to ditch something in the van to make space. Ditch as much as I can. Oh yeah, Vicky's right around the corner. Vicky 3. Someday, someway, somehow. Huh. Well, you know, out of all this stuff, the thing that I would drop the fastest is probably that one snack that I have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that'll do. What am I wanting to check, though? Over there, because somebody suspected they saw Boomer. And I did use a lot of fire over here, so if Boomer did die, I might be hanging around. Now, i got to remember... Uh, not Boomer. Sosa. Sosa will be a blood zombie. So they're not going to be one of these regular schmucks. not seeing any corpses of Sosa here. Jake, there's a siege at the bit. Oh, crumbs. I forgot all about that, didn't I? Damn, I hate missing those. Oh well, they'll take care of it, no problem. Either the zombies are getting dumber or we're getting smarter. Gutted. Not a, not a fan of missing out on those. It's a great way to get some almost free... Um, Almost free influence, provided you survive. Oh yeah, I wanted that staging area at this point. I'll save myself some materials. Are you sure there'll be blood zombies? I think they're always... If they get back up, it's because of uh, the blood plague, so I'm pretty sure they turn blood. It's locked. I'll just smash that open, no that problem. Ah, problem! Where is the feral? Ferals... Uh, Maybe I'll be lucky and they don't notice me here. That zombie doesn't. Did that spawn the zombies? Or the ferals? I got uh, two hearts, Eric Ran, and we've had two races for those two hearts. 
That's the building we see materials. A plate I'm after. <laughs> we see plate bloater, really? From in here? No room. Okay, well I want those chemicals, so I'm dropping the 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 Got a difficult choice. I'll drop the combat. No, I'll drop the snacks. Christ, who needs a snack? Maybe a guy who's about to evade some ferals, actually, so let's keep those if the need arises and get back to our truck. And get back home. Ferals, 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 ferals. And ferals are like the Ottomans of this game, if you border them. Now the trouble is, ferals will come after you from a fair distance away, and they'll often see you before you see them. Right, it's 100 meters to the, to the van, let's give it a gentle jog. I want my mallet back, and I want my... So hard to tell what um, what Sosa looks like. She was so immemorable. But I want my mallet back, and I want my really good gun back, and I don't think I'll be getting either. Premises are empty. That's what I like. Yeah, what I don't like is that it has good good supplies, and I don't have space for them. I can't believe I missed that siege. I hate missing sieges, but it just wasn't on my mind. I'm also surprised I managed to spend 10 minutes outside of my base like that. Still, back we go. I really want to clear out this area. Although that will probably get quite expensive for me. Whoa, let's not, let's not say hi to that bloater too closely. You know my house is filling up with the smell of that ham I made. It's pretty damn good. Oh. <laughs> Hello, ferals! I guess that seed wasn't comprehensive enough. Oh, uh, guys. It's feral here. Nicely done. And easily done, of course. I need a break. Right, ditch the stuff, we'll give Yukon her break, and then it's off. Since there aren't any missions going on right now, and I don't particularly care about barns. Actually, you know what, why don't we help her out? I haven't done any uh, any of her missions in some time. Let's change that. Meanwhile, deposit all this junk we've got. Let's keep this thing fueled up. I've been putting the bandito through its paces here. Now, dead survivors, thankfully, can't become special infected. Yeah, and I'm gonna leave that sword behind. The sword belongs to Herbert, since he's so good at swordsmanship. You, in the meantime, can get a Kakiri, because I rather like those. You don't need checked in, so we change over to... Oh, Herbert's good to go. Yeah, when you come, Herb. You've been doing good work so far. Why change that? Glad we've got these extra materials, but one always needs more of them. Staging area. Boost facility speed. No longer require materials. I'll probably build another farm when I can, since farms are good. This isn't good enough, but... I need access to water. Actually, I should be thinking about that. Where can I get access to water? Is there anywhere down here that gives water? Somewhere that's in a good position for me. Materials collection is always nice, but water, 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 water. <laughs> Last time we left Tressie there, she didn't look so good. Uh, really, folks, where am I meant to get some water? That does power. Don't say I only get water up here. 
The water symbol looks like that. It looks like oil. So there are two water positions up there. Ryan, folks, I'm not seeing it. Has anybody got a map of this place that shows where all the tactical resource areas are? Because I'm not seeing a lot of water. And I need water for the base. It's fuel right there. Back to the deadly. I do not want to set up another outpost in the north. I've already got one. But look at that. One, two, three water points and they're all in the north. Do not want fuel, food, food. Ah, that's what we need. That utility shed actually gives water supply, and I want that. Unfortunately, it's blocked by those two play carts, so that's the priority. Get those two play carts knocked out, and then I'll be able to have water for the base, and my farms will work better. Power I can get by having a big power thing built up. Potentially here. I could do hydroponics here. Probably keep the staging area given the massive amount of material costs that I have. And that would be a done base. That would be a pretty well done base on top of that. Can't believe we have spare beds as well. Because you cost me materials, how dare you. Yeah, yeah. Is there something bad in the north? The north is a pretty cursed place. It's far away from everything. Getting out of here is a pain. Uh, I've already got an outpost there, so if I do go up there for whatever reason, I have a safe area. And I just I don't want to be coming back here. We've picked the place clean. All these black places indicate that they are already done. Yeah, do not want to go back there. Right. I'm going to take care of that. I'm also going to take care of that rundown barn. And you, as much as you love your shotgun, are actually not going to take that. I will give you the repeating crossbow. Oh sweet, that's there, and that is taking care of, uh, plus four materials per day from that one building is definitely worth our time. 50% build action speed for an hour, not worth the parts. No way is that worth the parts. I think it only does materials upkeep though. Staging area doesn't somehow take away food costs or med costs or anything like that, just materials. Thankfully we surplus on ammo, don't spend fuel. Alright, goody goody. So, where was I? And where's your sidearm at? Advanced suppressor sidearm. With the 45 cals. And much as you like that katana machete, I'm giving you the RTX extermination blade. That should go really well with your skills. Naturally, make sure you have some anti-death stuff, and let's go. First there is the only infestation on the map, I believe. Good, and let's not let them pile up. If you let the infestations pile up, just... Morale goes down, apparently zombie threat goes up. Yeah, I will have to go north eventually, smack guy. But there's no reason to rush those. There's no reason to rush any particular play carts except for clearing out areas. And that's a really nice change. I'm glad that's in the game. There was no such cons- Oh my Christ. I just turn around and see Horde of Zombies, Screamer, Bloater. No safety to be had here. Yeah, in the old- in the olden days, before this plague area uh, update for the game, the plague hearts were pretty much meaningless. They didn't cause you a problem unless you went and attacked them. Oh, that, that attracted some friends. Let's make sure they themselves don't get some friends. Hmm, three out of four light bolts recovered on that. Lovely. Let's not provoke the bloater into popping. Two screamers. Well. Uh, well. Now there's one. Uh oh. Ah. That was not my intention. Sometimes when you pop a screamer, if there's a... Wow, are you just crying there? If there's an adjacent screamer or a nearby screamer that can see them, they will also start screaming. My goodness, just go down, will you? That happened there and just made this a much worse place to go and take care of. But take care of it, we shall. Not 
It's my mistake. I should have tried to see where the other screamer was. I was just living in optimism, and optimism is actually bad for you. these in place and see where the screamer is because I don't want to provoke. Okay, well the screamer's not here, that's not a problem. Pop. Another pop. Lovely bonus of having this crossbow thing so early is that you get more plague. You more often get plague sample drops if you kill with a bow. Or a bow's bolt. And those are great for making all the cures I need to drink. Did you get any notable presents, Jake? Uh, let me think. I got my annual viz. It is tradition in our family that the boys get the viz annual for Christmas. Now, if you've never heard of the viz, it's a filthy British comic. Absolutely filthy. And not, not Playboy filthy, but... Um, how best to describe it. Well, it, it has comic strips with such endearing names as The Drunken Bakers and Two Fat Slags. Someone must have beat us to the punch. Oh, it's it's great. Such utter filth. Ew, says Pepper. Yeah, it is very ew. You read the whole thing going, ugh. And at the same time you're laughing your ass off thinking, how do they come up with this stuff? I read just a few pages earlier this morning, and I sincerely burst out laughing. i uh, tell you what, I'll scan some of it and post it in the Discord later on, some choice comics from it, if anybody wants to see exactly what my idea of ew is. For what it's worth, the Drunken Bakers are my favourite comic strip, probably of all comic strips. I mean, sure, Calvin and Hobbes and Bo Peep are close in my heart, but they, they don't make me laugh like the drunken bakers do. It's like if Dark Young ever gained gainful employment, and it was as a baker, the comic strip is what his life would be. Hey there! Hey -o, Tressie. Plague territory is a bad place to hang out for too long. There's a place just up the road that I left some important stuff in. I was meant to bring it's stuff to trade dangerous. with you. You game? But you don't have anything I want anyway, so There's it's no a big place deal. Just up the road. Good. That's good. Back when the world fell apart, the military rolled through, sweeping up anyone with scientific training. They even wanted folks working on their master's degrees in molecular plant sciences. I was right here, doing my field research. When they found me, I didn't even have time to pack. And now you want help clearing out the zombies to see what's left. Uh-huh. We got matching swords. What is it? Testing equipment, field notes, a toothbrush. Basically, pretty much everything I wasn't wearing. Oh, oh how convenient. I just cleaned that place out. How inconvenient. There are all these zombies here. Well... I think I'll have the easiest time if we just stealthy, stealthy kill them. Someday I'll find Sosa. Sosa is the main antagonist to uh, Tony Montana and Scarface, so it always feels strange for me to be saying Sosa and it not being that uh, Bolivian politician. Was he actually a politician? I'm sure he had connections in politics. Certainly a drug lord. <laughs> I just... I just cleared an infestation and another one has appeared on the map. Well, you deal with this... Wait, this is the infestation? Either that was an incredibly inconvenient bit of timing or this mission spawns this infestation. Oh, hi, you... Whoa, 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 whoa.
Let sleeping bloaters lie, that's what I say. There's another one. Man, if you become a zombie, being the bloater or the boomer or basically the big fat ass just seems like the way to go. Just spend all your time chilling. Looks like a great way to live out your own life. Let's talk to Tressy. I thought I had a prompt for searching something there. Priority targets the Screamer. We know it's here somewhere. But there's the thing I need to search over there. Ah, uh, that's not a Screamer. Where the heck's a Screamer? Aha! Keep that mouth shut. Not bad. Not bad at all. Please don't tell me I have to protect her for a length of time. Let me know if you find something. This is meant to be an infestation, but where are all the zombies? Always in the last place you look. Her photo album. Hey, Aww. Is that really what she came for? Oh. Well, that wasn't. Ah, just. just. I didn't get sword play for no reason. Let's just slicey slicey. Any luck? <laughs> could I not give it to you? <laughs> Wonder if I could just sell it to someone. We all look so young. Oh, I remember Theo Hector taking this. My Damn, I think the bloaters are part of the uh, the infestation. So While she's going on about absolutely nothing, I can shoot them in the head, which will not make them explode, at least not initially. Where's their head? Where's that guy's head? Thank I think that's his this. groin. I'd almost forgotten that thing. And the people in that picture. Uh, I guess we should be getting back. I'm sure you have things to do. No, those are those are not the uh, the remaining zombies. Like these were struggling to get by. Most of us were one bad harvest away from losing everything to the bank. Sounds like bad planning if you ask me. College and grad school learning the science behind it. God, people wonder why I'm not so interested in the story parts of State of Decay. Alright, you done, Tressie. I really don't want to hear more of your sob story. Okay, is home still that place down south? No, her home has moved. <laughs> down into Deathville. Okay. Uh, if I'm going into Deathville, I want equipped for murdering in Deathville. So, we're taking a short trip home. I'm going to grab my sledgehammer. I'm going to take care of the play carts that are next. Oh, she's unkillable, isn't she? Probably. I'll take care of play cart hunting. We'll give her the ray treatment. People say I don't treat my allies well. I got Ray as cancer medicine. He probably just made that up. He probably has like old man butt problems that he didn't want to talk to us about. Oh, I don't doubt that, Sigan, but she's going to have to work for it, not me. Let's put all this stuff away. Herbert's, uh, Herbert doesn't need to risk his neck over this one. Could say I got plenty of plague cure to hand. Where's my loving shotgun? An auto shotgun just sounds like a weapon of mass destruction. It's hard to believe they're real. Uh, Beck, you're fine enough for getting out, right? Oh, hell yes, he is. And he, his morale is down because of the bike pedaling, of course. All that to get some power on the workshop. Oh, don't worry, we'll have base-wide power eventually. Just not right now. Still, with you, my friend, things could easily get very ugly. So make sure that you have... And I will be making an outpost down there, so don't worry about carrying too many things. Take some painkillers, some... Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of painkillers. Take some painkillers, some stimulants, fuel bombs, C4, 
and ammo for the guns you're bringing, which unfortunately cited Scar H is no longer fit for purpose. And that makes me very sad. Bring lots of shells for your auto shotty. Feels actually nice to have such an arsenal that I can think about what I want to take with me for the sake of killing as much as I can. I got plenty of 556s, but what's my best 556 gun? Let's take the mod off of you for now, put the Scar H away, and uh, if I carry some of these I can see which guns are... Oh, oh, I don't have a lot of things that fire 556s. I've got an MCX Osprey and a Raiders AR. I think I'll actually go with the Osprey, seems more powerful. Actually they are pretty identical, but the Osprey is more durable. But this has a bigger... oh, that's a full auto. Merry Christmas from the Atacama, says H2RG. Well, cheers, H2RG. It is looking like a pretty great Christmas. But then, you know, if you're not going to have a good day, why get out of bed? This seems pretty good. I'm not going to bring extra bullets for you. I strongly doubt 31 bullets isn't going to cut the mustard. Okay, let's go, Tracy. It's time for you to do a ray for me. Oh, hang on. Can I tr can I trade with you while I while I have you by me? If so, I can get rid of a you lot of my junk. Sweet. She's got 500 influence, and I will be drinking it all. Well, as much as I can, at least. That's I got a bunch of heavy. crappy backpacks. Hmm. Map to supply caches from Ray. Might need to keep that for story reasons. You mind getting me back home? No good reason to hang on to all this stuff. It's not like different traders give you different prices for things. Or if they do, that's beyond me. What else do I want to sell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got this ultrasonic rangefinder thing. I doubt it sells for anything good, though. I'll keep the Zent block. The Zent block is nice, but I'll sell you my smoke grenades. I don't like road flares. I don't like boom boxes. Uh, you know, normally I sell strong painkillers and stimulants, but this run's going a little deadlier than I like it to. So I'll keep a hold of those for now. Alright, that'll do. You mind getting me back home? Only sells for three, but I cannot imagine a use for road flares. Groovy, let's go. Knives, Jake? Uh, oh, an excellent point. Close combat knives are better to sell than to keep. I don't have many of them, though. I'll get rid of the chef knife, combat knife, and K bar. You mind getting me back home? But I've drained her of almost all of her influence, so there we go. Let's go, Tracy. We are going to take. What was I taking again? This, right? The utility shed. With a bit of power, I can get water out of it, and I can do that. And that means taking out you and you. And I have some survivors I can run to if I am in insane difficulty. Also, uh, I haven't used Assault Play Cart. I'll have to give it a go. Maybe it's really good. Does anyone know how Assault Play Cart works before I waste my time with it? Because it's not free to use. Careful. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Nice timing to just see Juggernaut. I'm out of here. Come on, Kaiser. You're the one that's meant to know your guns. If you can't supply me with information about every single gun in this game, what use are you truly? I also just realized I passed by part of what is probably uh, the thing I was missing from that plane crash. It spawns the people from the Enclave around the closest Plague Heart. That could be handy, but these these situations get very deadly very soon. I'll give it a go, right? What's the worst that could happen? Having three extra people and me and Tracy dealing with this could not be a bad thing. Oh my god, this van is smoking already. Alright, here we are. I can't make any safe zones, of course, because I'm in plague territory. 
but having you around should be good for me. So this is the nearest play cart. Uh, that appears to be my nearest safe area for when things really hit the fan. Incidentally, it's what I want to make into my safe area. So let's see how this works then. Um, Ex-military, assault the play cart. It'll assert the nearest play cart that is visible on your minimap. We need backup over here, ASAP. How does this work then? There's no way in hell I would agree to giving uh, giving somebody that much help. So are they here or what? Maybe they're already inside. I gotta make this quick. Oh hey! Whoa, that is handy. I didn't take a melee weapon. How could I forget the melee weapon? I'm gonna stab this thing with a freaking. Uh... No, forget it. It's get the C4 treatment. Good thing I brought a lot of C4. Do not let up. Is it about to make another boom, or what? Or do I just hack at it with a rusty screwdriver? I'll deal with it! Hey, 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 Shank, then now I can have an actual weapon on me. Sweet. Well, thank you, friends. Hey, where are my friends? Oh, they're probably dying. Well, that's very much a them problem. One down, some more to go. This is the other thingy that's hurting us. Hey, I, I, wow, the soldiers will live. They'll live to see it tomorrow. I can't ask them to do that again so quickly, though, I'm certain. Yeah, I gotta wait ten minutes. Okay, I should be doing that for all my play carts now. They keep all the zombies busy and off of me. Alright, any more for any more. Not happy with my thing toasting there, but I'm sure it's fine. Uh, again, safe places to go if I get feraled. There's a big old vehicle over there. Uh, Tracy, you seem to have brought a lot of zombs with you. That was not the plan, but you make problems, you deal with problems. Is it okay if I post a link to something from the Viz? Oh yeah, absolutely. We don't have rules about links around here. We just got we just got some common sense. There we go. Speaking of common sense, use that gun you have. Trying to find a safe place to go to if uh, things really turn grim here. And that might be my best bet. That feral's head is on. Don't tell me there are ferals before I've even gotten to work. Oh, ferals plural! the first to go. She looks like she's doing alright. I hate the pathetic throwing arm on these guys. Anyway, whilst they are distracted, we should make sure they have no heads to care of. There's you down. If I've been mistaken all this time, maybe fire can kill ferals. It's also possible that she killed the feral. It's down, but not dead. I have a feeling we're creating problems for ourselves here, Trish. But with the ferals dead, 
I can grab my C4 and make a run for it. Sure you do. Keep the door closed, hope there's no zombies in here. Ah, well there are now. Where's the heart? Where's the heart? Where's the heart? Here's the heart. Have some C4. Ow! Ow! Do 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 do. You're fine, you're fine. In fact, you're so fine. Here's a nice explosion for you. <laughs> what is it in this context? <laughs> I think Trish is hurting. Uh oh, 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 no, 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 get out of there, get out of there. The play cart was still doing its big, uh, big gas attack. Which is not as fun as it sounds. Oh, yeah, you know what? Enjoy! Thanks, Trish! Ah, my greatest ally. Oh, uh, wait, where's that? Where's the play card? Hard to get my bearings here, but I think it's about here. And another one bites the dust. This town is slightly cleared up of plague zombies, or plague hearts at least. There's a bit more to do, but this is a good start. I better pop that heart or else people are going to say, oh, what about my marble? Boy, Trish is the best friend I could have hoped for. By the way, Trish, could you stay out there for a bit? I need to sit down and just... This place ain't never going to feel safe. Oh, I'm still, I'm still high on stimulants. This is okay. Greenwood is so happy at the idea of us rolling some marbles that he's popping in with the gift subs. Thank you kindly. I do really appreciate it though. Sometimes it's just not easy to, easy to voice it. Right, 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 right. That is popped. We're making our safe zone, and we're going to celebrate the safe zone by, well, first of all, burning down our friend. Should make a run for any plague samples that have dropped. Actually, you know, I bet we could fight until this whole place is secure. That would give me an opportunity to fill up the. Uh... That would give me an opportunity to fill up the van. Oh yeah, she knows what she's talking about. We good yet? Oh, uh, we got some new friends. That's okay. I'm taking this challenge. We fight until they're ah! <laughs> there are a few things in life more terrifying than a fat guy running at you. Fat people don't usually find excuses to run. So if he's doing that, you're probably in a lot of danger. Alright, safe! Despite still being plague territory, I managed to clear them all out and get it safe. I just purchased this game because of you, says Mr. Wet Pants. It's installing right now. You have made an excellent choice. And if you happen to be very good at this game, I will be looking for a dream team to play this game with when Dark Side comes out. I need some extremely experienced people to, uh... Ooh, let's put this straight to use. To survive the dark side with. That's two more marble giveaways to be had. We've done two, and we've just earned ourselves two more. God, if everyone's this generous, I'm going to be bankrupt by the end of the day. That's all right, though. You know, that's what that's what the festive season's all about: wasting all your money on people who. Uh, well, let's not go into that. Gladius sounds pretty damn cool. Might even be better. Oh, well, it's certainly better than that piece of gash that I've got right now. Completely pop that open. 
Um, I don't see any real reason to loot this right now, except any goods that I find I can just give over to Trish. Like that handgun ammo press. I already have one. Oh, but she's out of... Um, she is out of influence to give me. So I guess we'll just head on over to the new safe house and roll some marbles. At which point I will take the opportunity to re-explain how the marble rolling works, because there are doubtless the people that missed the first explanation. Oh, there are three hordes, and a bloater, and I strongly recall leaving behind a juggernaut over there. Cheers, swag cannon. Oh, and uh, cheers my eyesight for noticing all these. Gimme... Uh, don't tell me you're full up. Tell me you've got loads of space. This is why I wish you could take more followers with you. The These big fights with loads of zombies feel good. It would feel really good to, you know, actually fill up the, the vehicle with, say, four people and just roll into plague territory and thin them out like nobody's business. But for some reason, game's not getting behind that. And we know the AI can handle it because you can have uh, big sieges in the game. Maybe they worry that everyone would do it and the game would get too easy. But currently, the game has followers take less damage, so if you just remove that, you'd be able to offset it. I don't know. Just spitballing here. I'm not on the developer team. I don't have any inside information whatsoever. I'm just a man with wishes. Rotten way to die. Jake, some of us have to sleep. All right, I'll get to the marbles, but uh, you know, I do actually need the area secure first. Oh, but I can make it secure by getting this place first. That gives us a tiny little bit to work with to begin with. Yeah, while I'm at it, why don't we secure this too? They're just having a nice safe area to work with to begin with is good. Because whilst they might bring some zombies in, at least they're not going to be spawning on top of us in addition. The exception to this will be if a Juggernaut or a Screamer decides to come and play with us as well. I'm sure Trish will be okay. I'll even close the doors and have a nice watch. You got it, Trish. Oi, 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 oi. You stay out there. Or I can just do this. Ooh. That was quite a lot, Calvin. Painkiller snacks and smoke grenades. That's our leader. Stepping up where Voomer decided to step down. As if it were a decision. Whoa, I don't think I've seen that execution before. Let's... Must be a Gladius special. That's brutal. I'm working on it, Trish, right? We've got things to take care of first. Remember, my benefit is your benefit. And we've got the Assault Plague Heart thing available again. Uh, we're not playing as Herbert, so we haven't got the sword play specialty. We've just got Prowess. Beck is like a much meatier version of Herbert. Okay, site secure. Let's take it over. It's expensive, but for one fuel per day, we get base-wide water. That is good. Yoink. Outpost is done. All fancy and fresh. And at oh, a toolbox is another great one. After a very, very long time, we finally have a safe zone in the dreaded south, and from there, we'll be able to expand a whole lot more. And with that, we'll actually have all the major places taken care of. The remaining plague hearts, half of them still exist, but taking that down, one, two, three, four, five of them, will take us to 19. There'll only be nine left. One, two, three, four, probably a fifth one, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's trader missions and we're done. We'll have this done before the new year. Which uh, kind of makes me sad, but to have more state of decay, we need to have the dark side mod ready. And hey, for all I know, it's being worked on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Get the goodies, should get the goodies out of the van as well. And dump them all into our home. Ooh, and I can supply, I can grab you from out here. Gotta hand it to Beck. But Beck is banged up, so... I will actually just switch him out for now. Get him healing as soon as possible. Keep these guns, they seem pretty good for you. 
can't upgrade this outpost, but there's nothing I could reasonably upgrade it to. And uh, Yukon, Herbert, Kaladin. But I feel like IFT has been doing a lot of moaning and a lot of not fighting. So out he comes. There's no mods here isolated. I'm playing completely vanilla. I would want the dark side mod, but it's not available right now. Still waiting for it to be updated. There's my suppressed elite. Keep it fully repaired. Keep that. Oh, that is fully repaired. Good amount of ammo for it. But I need to unload the van first. Unload van, and then it's marble time. Although, might as well also check what this, this little coffee place has. Couldn't you really trust getting coffee from these little, little shacks that dish out coffee? I find the whole setup really quite weird. And somebody has confirmed that these are a real thing that do exist. I'm just baffled, I suppose. Oh, cheers, Nigerian prince. You are, without a doubt, making it rain here. One wonders what comes over him. Probably all that wealth. And all that being a Nigerian. I used to work with a lot of Nigerians. There are plenty of them over in Aberdeen, attracted to working their way up in the oil business. Probably a bit less attracted right now. Aberdeen's become a bit of a hole. Hope the university is doing alright. Aberdeen University was a surprisingly good university. I don't have a lot of frame of reference for that, but a positive experience in my life. Right, oh, there we go. All deposited, and that's two of them cracked open. You know what that means? Well, potentially you don't. Maybe you just joined and you don't know what's going on. For every plague heart we pop open, we're going to have a marble race. And that is going to start right about now. Cheers, Aether. My most feared song. I've watched a few State of Decay streamers, says Swag Cannon, I'm, and I missed the rest of what they said. I do enjoy watching Jake's play style the most. Well, how do the others play? Anyway, never mind that for now. Let's mind ourselves some marballing. Uh, some marbling game? Okay, can't have marbles without some good Domina music, so let's get on that as well. And frankly, I don't think it's loud enough. Let's have that pumped up a bit. So, nothing more Christmassy than rolling marbles, and that's what we're about to do. I guess I'll choose the first race. Uh, let, let's let's get it in first and foremost. We'll have one called Pixels Death Alley. Let's go. So, once the map loads, if you play, uh, if you type in exclamation mark play, and of course I will join in myself. You will be a marble here, and if you manage to come in first place, you will win a game of your choice, on a platform of your choice, as best as I can provide it. However, as the winner, you could choose to give up your prize and choose two other marble racers that came in the top ten to get that prize. So you double the amount of gift giving, but you yourself get nothing. How festively spirited are you feeling? Well. You can say what you want, but what matters is the choice made by those that win. It's like those people that say, Oh, of course I would save my friend from a crazed gunman. Would you really? Well, I'll we'll have to see when that crazed gunman arrives. In any case, I'm going to take a quick swig of water, and we're going to get this underway. And I get to enjoy watching the people who chat chat in this chat room for the first time only to join in to try and panhandle some stuff. So they will be named and inflamed. Guardian Crow 444 Burgundy Eagle, IPW and a load of useless letters Crunjirori Moo Moo Hours The Game Killer Parasitio Jad Vendrick 68 All of them chatting for the first time here just to try and panhandle some free games here. I wonder how festive they'd be when making the final decision. What's more mysterious are the people that are subbed to the channel for a while and using this as their first time to chat, but that's their prerogative. Is the gunman Nitro says Black Winds. If it is, I'm pretty damn sure I could save all my friends from a gunman. Okay, and on that note, let's get it going. Your last few seconds to join in. Oh, Rombic made it into the final one. 
It'd be nice if I won. I could do some games. Okay, so, as it is, it doesn't matter how you place here. First come, first serve. Down they come through the Pachinka Falls. Can anybody get a really optimal path through here and come out on the Blazing Way first? It looks good for Tamago! Tamago made it good. Oh no, but the ta- Oh, the Tam got a little too greedy and blasted off into these wee pegging areas, but holy moly, what's he made of? Dark Young has eaten his beans today. He's a gorillion miles away from everybody. He did not like coming 137th in a previous run and decided to show us what he's made of. And what he's made of is just not being quite as good as Franconian. Franconia is making his way forward. Sabletooth is flying. Eldritch Lolly. Oh no, Dark Young is weaponizing his anger, blasting his way through. He's like the marble version of a plague juggernaut here, but he just can't seem to get it through there. No, he made it, he made it. Up through the pegs, dodging almost all of them, going right by the side, teasing us all with almost going do not finish. But he's right at the end, a million miles ahead of everybody. He just needs to not smudge the finish, and he is the big winner. And it looks all but done. So much better than everybody else, Dark Young has made it. First and for most. Look at that. Tons of time ahead of all these other losers. Lucas and Franco finally join in. Lolly and Vess making their way in. Lolin, Napalm, Flying Land Duck. Every single one of them bowing, scraping their foreheads on the ground to Dark Young's mastery of rolling his marbles. Look at that big, cheeky monkey with its gigantic brain. Victory for Homo Erectus there. Well, congratulations, Dark Young. All these other losers crowding your style better give you some space because you've earned it. That, that was very impressive. Don't know how he managed to blast through so much of that without slowing down. But he did. And for that, he wins. Streaming and winning. How does he do it? Is he live right now? That would be incredibly amusing. Yeah, he is! In the middle of an EU4 game, he can also win it in marbles. Is there nothing that plucky Scott can't do? Well, <laughs> let's not get into that, shall we? Well, Dark Young. Dark Young is keeping his gift, and he says, screw the plebs. He will not be generous and festive. He's taking his prize. I'll be sure to write that down in my little notebook. Uh, it'll be dark underscore young underscore and in big letters keep he will not be sharing the festive cheer with you He's too busy having festive speed and probably regular speed well congratulations dark young that was really very good however we popped two plague hearts since we last opened up our streaming uh, our marble racing rather so Let's take a look at what people had to say, by the way. Keep screw the plebs. I love it. Franconian was so close. I only want to beat Young. No, GZ Young. He plays you for even. Eldritch saying, I almost had you for a second. Understandable. Not bad. Top 10 for once, says Napalm Sideburns. But who was, who was far from the top 10? Who do we have down here? M Power. Don't know why they get a fancy number here. Going wow, probably wow at their incompetence. Ta oh, they're a bit lost for words here, aren't they? What kind of hacks? Sea space trying to cheat, says Pepper. It's always the losers who call others cheaters. I don't, I don't understand. Well, Dark Young, since you won, you can also choose the next race number. Choose anything between one and I think it's sixty. One and sixty, and we'll go for that. Fun fact, Orlov isn't running today, because he's working on bloody Christmas Day. I think only once in my life have I worked Christmas Day. And it was fine, I got paid like double or quadruple for it, and uh, I just celebrated Christmas exactly the same way on the day after. I'm not sure if he's choosing a number. Franco, you came in second, you can choose a number if uh, Dark Young is trailing his giant Neanderthalic fists on the ground before he can think of a number. Probably quite difficult for him, really. Franco says, 42, the meaning of life, right? 42 is the Temple of Steve. Steve from Minecraft? Can't believe he got into Smash before Doomguy. 
Okay, same rules as before. If you missed them before, I will not repeat. In you cut. Oh, better join in myself here. Getting to be in red. Lucky me. Righto, who is joining in? Delaran. The wealthy Nigerian prince clearly makes his wealth out of beating people at marble racing. Metzel, bouncy. TBW trying yet again. He's already won, and he wants even more. And Gaben! Gaben himself. Mm, maybe he's been ousted internally within Steam and needs to win marbles in order to get games on his own PC gaming platform. Alright. I can see Isolated Beast coaxing on Lady Luck to help them out. We'll see how that works out for you. Ten seconds and we go. Let's go. Who can get that? Okay. Normally, they all use funnels or pachinko balls, and I'm surprised we haven't seen much funneling so far. Who can get down there first? It's looking good for Prisky. I actually never had, knew how to say that. My, my heart says, says pricey, so we'll go with that. They've been living a strange life in the good town, but it doesn't seem like they had what it takes to get down here fast. It's looking good for Casey, or Crunchy. Maybe Taciturn has a tactic to get down there? I don't know. It's quite mesmerizing watching them all go down and round. We can see it with names or without. I prefer keeping the names in. Yves seems to have gotten the advantage coming out, as has Spengler. Spengler showed their racing prowess when playing the Italian job, but are they Italian enough to grease their way down and around all of these? I do not know. In the hot pursuit, we've got Yves, Casey, Tamago, Venom, and then all the scrubs there. Voomer lives on in marble form. Right, as we go through the blender, who comes out on top? It is Casey. Ray shirts bring up the rear. The Guardian Crow 444. They have never chatted in this community at all before. I strongly suspect they came in just to panhandle a free game. But let me make this absolutely clear. I don't even care if you're just somebody's bot that has come in to claim the game. I care about winners. And if Guardian Crow can dab on the entire community by winning in their first time here, then all the more power to them. I will not spike their prize with Patrician 4, although the temptation is there. Their advantage is good, it's not Dark Young good, but look at them come along, executables trying to represent people who are actually members of this community, and wow, they get boosted ahead for it. If they can make it past the wee nipples and down their way through the ramps, they could make it in. However, it's another moving goalpost. Holy moly, it's like some people's run on the retro game onslaught, that goalpost is shifting. Unbelievably so, executable looks like they're gonna get their first chance in it, but will they manage to make it work, or will Crow come in for that unbelievable victory? Grey Void's there, Cruel is, Trox is, there's also the other side. Oh, oh, it's looking good for Executable, they are in! Wow, it was looking so good for Guardian Crow, they managed to come in third place, but Executable wins it for contributing members of the community. <laughs> nice try, but it clearly wasn't nice enough. Jake, those who don't appreciate Patty 4 don't deserve the game of choice, says Zergle. Well, maybe their game of choice will be Patrician 4. Maybe they've been dying to have it, but uh, they couldn't live with the shame of buying it themselves. I don't know. It'll be quite interesting to see what uh, people's choices of games will be. Ah, there we go. Nestling into the finish is good old DDR Jake. He didn't want to steal the opportunity from others. Christmas is about giving, after all. Oh, they're giving it all right. Ah, I like seeing them roll around there as well. What a mesmerizing game. I've always gone to my game Marbles on Steam or Stream. I don't know if... Oh, Zergle, Zergle, are you going to survive? Yeah, Zergle makes it in and finishes it off. What do people have to say for their glorious victories? Well, what about those that gloriously failed to begin with? Casco says that I am worse at finishing. I think my marble is faster than I am when I sim race. Grey Void is saying it was close, it was close, and then Franco watched me win my chosen race. You were, uh, top 5 DNS, Franconian. You just have a way with things, don't you? Top 6, says Greenwood. No, no, I don't think so. Pay to win doesn't work. Close, but no cigar. Love the music. If you do love the music, the music is from a game called Domina, which is brilliant. I've streamed it before, but don't even watch the streams. Just play the game, it's so damn good. What does Executable have to say about their glorious victory? Sharing gifts. I pirate my games. Ah, I see Executable is a rare case of a big-brained individual. Then the question falls to you, Executable. You may gift those two victories to any other two members of the top ten. Who's it going to be? 
Cruel Fato and Voomer. Rest in peace, our leader. I better write this down in my wee notebook. It's really helpful to me if the people who do win direct message me. Saves me a lot of hassle of going and finding people. You can add me on Steam. I'm DDR Jake there. And I don't think there are any imposters. Or you can get me directly on Twitch or on Discord. I will be handing out the gifts once today's stream is done. Anyway, our winner... Executable... Gives it to... Cruel... Fatal... And... Voomer. I'll know who Voomer is. You know, Voomer used to be nothing but a lurker. Putting together a huge amount of stats from our Xenonauts run. It was fantastic. And they've risen up to be someone so prominent within the community. It's a great story. A story that's been shared many times around here because we've had similar ones from Baron, Dark Young, and people that just come in from nowhere and even start doing their own streams. It's so heartwarming for me to see. Really building up the kind of community that I want in the world. Right, what do the other almost winners have to say? Oh man, Cruel is going. Thank you very much. The way that they mistype that makes me imagine there are tears dribbling down their eyes because they got nothing but coal and dead rats for Christmas. And today, of all days, in the most unlikely of places, they win. Deserve for second place. Very nice. Guardian Crow says, I found you through a raid. You know who he is, the green Spartan of XCOM. Don't type much, but I love your content. Guardian Black Crow has entered into my heart here today. Ainsley is saying that they're glad they're in the top 10. Kill is... <laughs> See, someone's happy to be in top 10. Someone is sad to be only 5th. And they weren't even 5th. Kill Raider was... Oh, they were 5th. Never mind, I can't count. Boomer is saying, Merry Christmas, you're too kind. And Zambier tries to boost and fails. It is pretty fun, Roman. Unfortunately for all involved, the marble time is over. We're going back to the state of dismay. Bye-bye, marbles. We'll have you back in no time because we're making good headway on these play carts. <laughs> this is making good headway on my wallet. Okay, doesn't matter though. I'm here to spend money, not make money. Okay, where were we at? Do we actually have the game back up? It's hard for me to tell on my side, but it looks okay. Right, Groovy. We've got IFT Clerk. He's well enough armed for the situation, but I don't think I want to bring Tressie back home. We're on a roll right now. Why not continue clearing out these play carts? There are four more in the south. If I can completely clear out the south today, that's going to be good for us. No chance for sub-only marble races, Nigerian Prince, seeing as we have a whole bunch of new subs today. Very good. The next bunch of marble races will be sub-only. It's only fair that the guy who decides who the subs are gets to decide that it's sub-only. I'll get right on that, Tracy. Right. You know, I'm feeling good about this. Let's arm ourselves to the teeth. Of course, that means bringing in some anti-dying drugs, some anti-running out of juice drugs. I always want to carry some fuel bombs and that C4. I'm running a touch low on C4. Maybe I should bring lots of it. Yeah, I can always run back here if the going gets grim, but that'll do us for now, and it doesn't keep me over, over, overburdened. Let's head up to the south here for this construction site. Also, I would really like to make... Oh, I can make fuel bombs. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, I like fuel bombs. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Shame about the lack of fuel from all of that. Uh, the water... The water gives everybody how much morale? <laughs> Plus one morale from having water. Unbelievable. I'll tell you what, let's uh, play some non-video games while we're at it. We're breaking even on food, which is quite wonderful thanks to Sosa dying. We lose meds, but that's okay, we have plenty of meds. We gain ammo, we gain materials, and we lose fuel. This could all be solved. And I want plus one outposts by upgrading this. But I need to get power internally or externally. I do want a hydroponics. But I need someone with utilities knowledge, and I don't have that right now. Alright, that place first. How's the van looking? A nice bonus is that Kaladin is a sneaky bugger. He knows how to slav squat like the best and can run while doing so. <laughs> well, the Nigerian's bringing in some new contenders. Much obliged. Uh, 
Okay, that is a zombie. I thought that was the remains of one of the guys that I called in to help with a play cart. I'm so, so happy they fixed spawning bloaters on top of your vehicle. It was the biggest pile of hokey that this game had to offer. And this game's got a lot of hokey. Thought I saw Feral there. I knew it! Be gone, Feral. Ooh, that's a fair few zombies here. And that's a fair few ferals, I hear. Where are they? That's a pack of them. Get in the front of my vehicle. On the front, on the front. Death to feral! Uh-oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Get that feral out of here. Oh, this is a mistake. This is a big mistake. Feral's pulling me out of the car. Ah, it's become someone else's problem now. All right, back up. I need back up. That's a great way to put it. Because it certainly is. Come on, let's see what's in here. We're, we're killing a plague heart. Alright. Whoops. I put down one there accidentally. I keep detonating things that I don't plan on detonating. already had ferals. I don't want more of them. Remember, I am not made of C4. But if I were, I'd do this. Yay! Another one bites the dust. This area is officially reopened for business. <laughs> it's really not! Look at all the freaking zombies, you idiot! Pop it, pop it, pop it. Oh, I can't pop it. Too many zombies around here to, to pop it open. I think my friends might be dying in there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh. Right, tell you what, this is exactly why I bring fuel bombs. Is that not enough? Okay, good job everybody. How, how alive are these guys still? <laughs> All of them are alive, that's amazing. Right, let's grab that fuel, a king vulture, and uh, some replacement stimulants. Boy, you, you got banged up there, didn't you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you might still be okay. A big part of that was the uh, feral getting to you. Good to see. Yeah, you are doing all right. Uh, okay, let's do this. Yeah. You got bullets for me, but I'm not sure I want to spend influence on getting those. Mind you, I have a lot of influence. It might actually be worth it just to make sure I am tanked up on bullets. Left my vehicle a wee bit away. This, uh, this is one of the better abilities I've ever seen. Assault Plague Heart. I have left it underappreciated for way too long. Even Mucus is joining in fun. Oh, ooh, well, perhaps I shouldn't overstay my welcome here. I just saw tons of fun. Ooh, but there's also material. Oh! Ugh. No, no, no. Oh yeah, isn't my vehicle stuck? Uh oh. This 
Please don't scream. Please don't scream. I'm having great difficulty hitting you there. Alright. Oh, oh, Christ, I can't even get in there. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Feral as well. How does this keep happening? Right, step one, eliminate Feral. It's always step one. I think I shot it in his head. That sounded like a headshot. Go, Trish, you're alright. The thing is, I can't even get in and out with my vehicle there. These invincible uh, AIs are actually pretty bad for the game, I think. She should be every shade of dead by now. Especially if I add that to the fire. Zombies can't hurt you if you're on fire, is that how it goes? Where's the bloater? That's, uh, that's an actual alert. Bloaters can hurt you from up here. Oh boy. Screamer. Bloater. Screamer. Screamer. Trish, I gotta go. I need to not be here right now. Screw it. I've got an idea. We are fucked. You don't be there. Me be in here. And I hit the stuck button. And hopefully nobody pulls me out of my vehicle. Come on. Okay, great. Can't this go any faster? What oh, Christ? Calm yourself, Trish. I don't even know my bearings here. But I think I want to be there. Got to stay frosty. Plague zombies all over the place. Not having a door. Actually, only having one door isn't very good here. Maybe we could graft it onto the driver's side. Ah, no, 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 not again. Oh! Shh. Oh, that was so bad in so many ways. That fat ash running towards me was millimeters away from just detonating and covering this with uh, plague. Plague puke. That would not have been a fun way to go. I wonder if Trish could have died from that. Maybe maybe vehicular death would get around her invincibility. See, in games like these, when the creators have their, uh, their characters that they really love, they put them in, they make them special or unkillable or whatever. You know, you're just driven to find a way to murder them. Well, I certainly am. It's like when we found that, what was her name, like Katie McLaughlin or whatever from Frostpunk's The the Last Autumn. When I found her, she ended up being the only person working in my whorehouse. Just because I really did not appreciate there being special characters in that kind of game. I doubt she enjoyed the experience. Okay, okay, that was pretty bad for you. I'm actually going to switch you out. Because I don't want to be risking plague if I don't have to. So in you go, and you go, and... Uh, hey, Herbie. We'll bring Herbert back in. <laughs> Vengeful. Well, it's not vengeance, it's just being a nasty person. Special people, special treatment. Okay, let's make sure this thing is locked and loaded. Because this is a great anti-feral weapon. Shoots a ton of really powerful shots. Wow, maximum power. Actually, this is a great anti-plague heart weapon, but if you use it, you burn through the, the you burn through the gun really fast. But I did make a lot of shotty shells, didn't I? Maybe we'll try that. We'll just um, I'll lay down one bit of C4, shoot the thing, and then detonate the C4 after it does its scream, and then come back for a bit more. But it's always good to have the stealthy option. Adding sidearms is another great benefit to the game. I I didn't see the I didn't see the goodness of it to begin with, but now I do. I want this south secured today. 
Stimulants. Yeah, nice thing about popping play cards is getting lots of stimulants. And of course, fuel bombs. I just made some, but I already want some more. Burning through that fuel, but we've had a lot of fuel with no use for it for a while. Alright, Trish. That was lovely. But there are still three more to go down here. So let's get to work. Oh, that one's next to a lookout point, which is quite handy. Starting to wonder about the uh, status of our bandito here. It's not smoking, but it is lacking a lot of doors. So with that in mind, let's make sure that we have one toolkit and one fuel can for it. The fuel can I'll put straight to use. Toolkit I'll keep in the back. Not going to take the beetle mallet. Uh... We lost the beetle mallet, I'm afraid. We got a brick hammer. We got a double bit axe. Um, the thing is, things are probably going to get quite loud, so I'm not actually sure if I want to use a melee weapon. But why don't we use the caveman club for a change? It's very heavy, which is pretty bad. But I am going to ditch the toolbox. Maybe it'll balance out. Toolboxes are heavy. So close, so close. When I drop one of the C4 charges, I'll end up being un, uh, being medium encumbered. So that's all right. I gotta be careful. She just wants to go home, but I'm not taking her home. You gotta be careful because the bite binders are there, and the one of them is dead, and I don't want the other ones being dead as well. Sadly, this place is locked in by all three of those play carts. I'll go for this and I'll really hope that it doesn't kill them because they have that medical supply radio command that I want and do not ever want to lose. Alright, Trish, let's go. On the plus side, it's very fast to get in and out of our vehicle now. On the downside, no protection for the driver. No protection for you either. And uh, we can't tonk the zombies. I didn't get an answer on how other people play this game, but I'm quite curious about it because I don't watch State of Decay streamers. Hell, I barely watch streamers at all. I, I really only watch people from within the community. It's fine by me. Okay, okay. Oh, it's a bit busy in there. Also, I see you. And he sees me. Down you go. I don't want to lead the zombies to my friends. That's an absolute no-no. I think I heard a feral. Why do I always hear ferals? State of decay, more like state of feral. Alright, put that down and uh, let's get swinging. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. I don't think that was enough. Oh yeah, that, that was quite good actually. It did its uh, reaction from that. So about that feral, where is it? Oh, cribbins, it took a few. Probably because of the spread of this gun. There we go. This weapon takes an Aeon to reload. I should keep that in mind as well. Alright, alright. In I go, go. Down goes the C4. And... Hey, <laughs> How you like them apples? That was good. That was so good. I'm going to set this thing to fully auto if I can. Yeah, now we're talking. Double wealthy Nigerian. Really? You'd be satisfied with double? I often feel... Oh, jeez, I feel that. Get off of me. I often feel remorse that I don't have more to offer for subs. This is an excellent opportunity to go for yet more. Let's package ourselves, uh, patch ourselves up best we can here. 
get going. Shove this in the van and get moving. Ah, you're fine, Trish. Quit your... Quit your moaning. Uh, let's get rid of that toolbox as well. Toolboxes be heavy. Ah, don't pull me out of my van! There. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? There. What do you mean, Jake? Double heart kill, quadruple sub only race? What I'm saying is, there are more hearts. And if we get this one done nice and fast, well, there's no reason we can't do yet another, is there? Let's go, Herbert. Time for you to shine. Where is it? 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 Oh, here it is. Good, good, good. Down that goes. Get swinging, man. Ah, oh, don't be... Do not be grabbing me like that, please. Alright, alright. Let them, let them blow. Mm, bet they didn't like that. Let it do its big counter-attack. Get behind the other side of this wall where I'm relatively safe unless there's a feral. Oh, that's not a feral. That's nice. This place brings back so many memories. Come on, Trish. Whoa. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see you. And that hurts. Get some revenge. Get patched up. I am taking care of myself. Uh-oh, she's ditching me now. That's not very nice of her. Where was that plague thing? Here it is. Ooh, that hurts, that hurts. I'm getting plagued from it. It did do its counter. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is pretty grim. Where's the truck? Truck, van, whatever. Uh-oh. Can I shoot through it? Well, you may can't shoot through it. Be gone! Uh-oh. Okay, where's my safe house? I can't believe this thing is still going. A blow to his instant death for this chap, so let's not have him dead on me. I'm well aware I'm on a timer on Darius. But these plague hearts have got to go. I want this south secured for Christmas. Glad I picked up that uh, toolbox now. Can certainly put it to immediate use. That's one way to learn your learn yourself some stamina. Okay, get ourselves cured up. Get ourselves healed up. I've only got one pipe bomb left. But I've still got ammo. Let's make sure this thing is fully locked and loaded. I couldn't imagine a drum being that hard to slide on in, but I guess under pressure. It might be a little tough. I think this Souvenir Caveman Club is hurting me more than it's helping me, but we are blitzing through this, so let's not let up. Hmm... Fixing up our weapons. See, we did 78 scrap worth of damage just by unloading there. Let's keep it repaired. Let's repair our caveman club. Keep the fuel bomb, our last C4 charge. We've got stimulants and strong painkillers. Now, he is mashed up a bit, and even breathed in some nasty crap. But if anybody's getting to get this job done, it's Master Herbert. He's going to go in for that last play cart, and the whole south will be secure. Oh, right, the... The smoking, dying uh, van. That's a lot to carry. Fantastic. Oh, and he's got to get home in time to save the base as well. He's going to be an everyday action hero. There's a horde heading our way, but we can handle it without you. No, you can't. You need the herbicide. 
I think I'm actually just going to use that first aid kit since I'm so mashed up. Kind of heavy, but when you need it, you need it. Yeah. Herb has earned it. Recovers lots of uh, injuries that you sustain. So if we just follow this road to the end of the road, we'll be looking at the final play cart. The Rock and Lock magazine is specific to those AK pattern rifles. Okay. You're, you're losing me, Kaiser. Explain guns to me like I'm five. And yeah, I know I still need to pop that other heart from the fort. Ugh. This time I've got to do it with no backup. No Trish. No calling for help. Just our main man getting in there and getting the job done. Pop a stimulant. Get in. Get to work. Oh, it's right here. Whoa, oh, jeez, so are you. How about we just do this first? That'll take care of the zombies out there. Out you go. Get that thing reloaded! Ah, get off of me! Eat this! Uh-oh. Oh boy, oh boy. Herbie's not having a good time here. Nicely done. Alright, pop it open and we're good. Uh oh, easier said than done at times. When there are zombies around, they eat your prompt for opening things, and just generally interacting, actually. Oh my god. Come on, Herbert. There we go. Paul and... Uh-oh. He's got to get out of here. He's got to get out of here fast. Uh-oh. If those bloaters come here, that's toast. Take these zombies off with other zombies. Or not. Or just tight turns. Ah, shoot. Get off of my van. I don't have time for this. Over there now, Herbs. Oh god, it's blocked. Oh god, I'm blocked. Oh no, the plague wall is here. The plague wall is stopping Herb. Twenty seconds, I don't think he can make it. Or can he? No, no he can't. Oh, I'll miss you, Herb. He gave everything. Everything he could. It's alright though. Slims down the team, cutting away the excess. Sapien says, dude, that escalated really quickly. It's alright. That's what we need. Yukon. Yukon has to go out there and get the truck. See, it's better to let them die a hero than let them live long enough to become a nuisance. No one quits. Oh, that's right. I have, a, I have an invasion at home. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. Take care of this first and then go and... Uh, Grab his remains. Uh, what do I do for a gun for you? 
Not a lot of ammo for things that I have. And I took all the shotgun shells. Right now. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm thinking. Take the King Vulture. Take the Scar H, but it doesn't have a lot of rounds. Let's make a pay for their fucking dinner. There we go. That'll be good. Can this take add-ons? No, it can't, and it doesn't have as much power as I thought. Do I not have a better magnum thing here? Ooh. Kaladin's feeling sad about having lost our friend. I'm left wondering if they have other ways to get in the base. I feel like they do. I mean, look, some of them are on the other side of this. Who are you fighting with? Kukiri. Yeah, they're definitely able to get in that way. And they're able to feral in from that way. I am very glad I put that, uh, put that shooting post up there. It's got very good coverage of the base. I think I saw the loter. The loter's the worst thing to have in the base. Perhaps not. You get down. Ah, you feel the lack of killing power when there's only four of us for a base this big. Uh oh, screamers priority target. Where is it? Multi screamers. I get that IFT, but as long as one person survives, we're good to keep going. That's behind me. Ah, there's a door here. Ooh. Clever buggers would stop that with a door, with a car. Not this guy, though. Oh god, zombies are up in the lookout tower. I should stop more from coming up. More. And no to bloaters. Oh, we don't like that. That was a deadly combination, getting grabbed whilst in uh, Screamer Puke. And speaking of puke... Oh jeez, they're still going. Screamer's got to go! Sucks to use a magnum round for that, but better than the alternative. Oh no, no way am I catching this blood plague bullshit. Yeah, Herbie did, and he did alright. He's a hero! How much of a hero is Yukon? To be fair, Yukon survived from that X. Excessively cursed starting enclave that we found. You're right, that was a great shot. Thanks for noticing. Need bullets, need bullets. Priest first. Glad it was appreciated, Rolling Ninja. It was a good shot. There's still something out there. Maybe something that got shot in the legs and is just dragging itself around now. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> On the plus side, no new infestations pop out. Oh, oh. Wouldn't be State of Decay 2 without infestation spam. I need to find some mod that just reduces the frequency of them. Or gives you something for clearing them out. Hey, look at us. We're alive. Ah, alive. <laughs> Good job, Yukon.
How's everybody doing? Ooh, plagued. Kaladin, you're the leader, and the only one that's not plagued. You're going to have the awe-inspiring job of going and getting our truck back. It's a wee bit away. It is over here. And that is a kilometer. A kilometer of eating god knows how many ferals. Might be a good idea to take a car. Like a car I don't mind ditching like the Maragra. Yeah, let's not be daft about this. Go over there, pop some plague hearts, bring the van back, and then we'll wrap this up with some marbles. Yeah, that sounds about right. Take the good gun. Oh, he died with the good stealthy gun, so you'll be getting that when you're out there. Till then, you'll have to rely on your wits, your metal bat, and your fin fowl. Oh, but uh, let's... Let's not rely on a complete lack of healing. Take some strong painkillers and some stimulants. And a couple of fuel bombs just in case things get absurdly bad for you. Where's my Maragra? Yeah, the gun is in the van. When I realized I didn't have any chance of getting him out of there alive. And I think I would have had, I would have had enough time. I lost 20 or 30 seconds getting stuck here because there was no way out of the plague wall thing. Would have definitely had time to drive that. That would take about 10 seconds. 5 seconds to grab the cure. Unfortunate, but that's how things go. You often get unfortunate outcomes. That's too much food. Hmm. I, hope nothing heard that. I wonder if we could do with a morale boost by cooking up some barbecue. 3 morale for 30 minutes for one food? No, no, that's so not worth it. Without more swords, we might as well just start trashing whatever we bring back. I hear you, I hear you. I'll fix it. Also, I missed somebody. There we go. Everybody but Kaladin actually needs to rest up. Also, that extra... extra materials. What should I be doing? I want to upgrade the workshop for sure, but... If I had gardening, I'd do the farm. The lounge would actually be a nice thing to upgrade, but that's a bit out of the question right now. Okay. Well, nothing to do with it just yet. Oh god, the sick people had to take on a feral. Actually, somebody got the blood plague from that feral. IFT did. Are you available to help with something? No. No, I am not. Uh, where are you at, man? IFT? Score me some cure. I got it right here. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I'm not that much of a monster. So, how you doing? Just hang in there. Kaladin doing whatever it takes to be the last man standing from the chatters. Yeah, if I had a cook, the grilling would generally be better. But I see cooking as one of the least powerful non-quirk abilities you can have. I very, very seldom make food because you get so much food from food outposts and farms. Then wh why would you want to make more? You'd be spending valuable seeds and ethanol. And it is valuable. Uh, right, my off-site storage is this van. It carries things that I don't have space for in here. And it's a good advantage to having more vehicles than you need, in my opinion. I hope nothing heard that. Didn't the cook let you make energy drinks? Yeah, but I haven't been short on energy drinks for this entire run. No point fixing up or fueling up the Maragra. This is a one-way trip for that car. The Maragra is good when upgraded, but I would rather have an upgraded one of these things. Whatever it's called. Vagabond. Or even better, an upgraded truck. I suppose these things are alright on the mileage. And it isn't good nick, but the storage space is so tiny. Okay, let's go. Whether we find Herbie or not, I need to pop open one of those. Uh, that's the thing I need to pop open. In fact, that's probably what I'll do first. And then we're getting our van and our goods, and we're coming back. Also, this is the wrong way to go. And I don't have a door on the old. Oh ho ho ho!
I wanted to lure that Juggy away from the base because everybody apart from IFT was uh, in the infirmary. Probably not best placed to be taking on stray Juggies. There haven't been any new survivor groups for a while. Is there a finite number that can show up on the map? Yeah, but it's pretty large. You can have quite a lot of enclaves on the map. It's just that I haven't been doing the radio call that spawns them. Because at this point, why would I? Oh, crumbs. Ooh, don't like that. How do I even get in here? Oh, I missed my way in. I need to turn around and take the first right. And there's a feral guarding the way, but that's alright. Cars are feral's biggest weaknesses. That's why they try to dodge them so fast. Very few things can one-shot a feral. But a car can. I'm under the impression that if you shoot a feral in the head... Well, that feral didn't even want to live. He made no attempt to dodge. Uh, if you shoot the feral in the head with a 50 cal, I think that kills it regardless of armor. But I could be wrong. Gr uh, explosive rounds don't kill ferals in one shot either. I'm not even sure how much they hurt them. They can take a lot of those. Did I really do this next to you? I should have brought some zombies over if that's the case. Looks quiet for now, but as long as that play cart is nearby, this place won't ever feel safe. What play cart? Oh, there must be another one up here. Oh well, give us something to do next time. Although how how big a man does Kaladin feel? Not seeing much of anything. There, popped, popped clean open. I can barely lift this. That's okay. You just need no to. Uh... And we're down to the last one. Yeah, take the flake samples over the bandage. Bandage is no big deal. <laughs> ah, although this area does feel a whole lot safer. Than when we were coming through here earlier. Sure, still plenty of plague zombies, but nothing like what we had before. I wonder where Herbert is. Is that Herbert? No, it's just another zombie. Alright, we're going back to our safe zone. Safe, as safe as we can make the south. Now I've got my tonk door at least. Tonk. And back to relative safety. There's still plenty of goodies to be had from this area, but this will do for now. Nowhere for that to go. That's nice. Nice that I didn't lose all the good stuff like I did with uh, hey, Sosa. Trusty here, coming to you again from the ruins of Marshall. I've had people ask me if the crumbling old plague walls are dangerous. The best answer I have is, I don't think so. And if that's not enough for you, just remember I'm technically still just a grad student. This is the kind if of story ramblings I'm not in for. Degree, I'm sure I could come up with a better answer. Righto, righto, righto. We are going to do, as wealthy Nigerian prince inspired us to, enjoy the four plague hearts that we took down by having four lots of marble racing, and that'll be our lot for today. So let us do one last transition and enjoy this for what it's worth. Come up to me, marbles on stream. All right, and as per his advice, we're going to do this with anti-panhandling strats. So if you are a sub or were lucky enough to get one of the many gift subs that were poured out today, this is your chance to show the world whether you are naughty or nice when it comes to spreading that festive spirit. It's also a good opportunity for me to actually bring it up on stream. Can we do that? Do we have the power? I hope we do. This one's a strangely slow loader. Tell you what, though, could do with having Domina back. And now we're talking. Oh, 
Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna randomly pick a map once more. Hmm. There we go. The Raging Pin. Let's just get straight into it. No sense beating around the bush. Little, uh, little early on the uptake there, Death Shed. I think it needs to load. So, as per what we said earlier, for every plague heart we smash and pop open, we're going to be running a marble race. If you come first, you'll get a free game of your choice. However, you could forgo that gift and let two other people come in the top ten get a game of their choice. Double the gift giving, but uh, only if you forgo your own one. So hit exclamation mark play if you want to join in. Oh, I forgot to make it sub only, didn't I? Whoops, that's the whole point of this. Out we come, out we come, out we come. How do I even come out of this? This will be a way to make sure people are paying attention, isn't it? How do I even do that? Which one was I just on? I have no idea what I was just on. Pixel's Death Alley? No, that doesn't seem right. That seems like one we already did. The Raging Pin. 12, the Raging Pin. There we go. Uh, I've forgotten how I do these settings again. Uh, settings, perhaps? Come on, Jake, activate eyes. There we go. Subs only. Doesn't matter how long. Let's do it. Yeah, the music here is from Domina, indeed. Okay, now for reals. Hit exclamation mark play to join in, and we'll get in on this. Means that everybody's this lovely shade of blue, unless they are a mod or... Why is Lizard green? I thought purple was mod. Bane? Oh, maybe Bane does something fancy with, um, with the marbles thing. Anyway, you've had enough time. Let's get into it. Ten seconds and we are go. Yeah, the Gladiator game, Domina, it's very good. I see Pricey in there again, trying to take another stab. Okay, down the Pachico pins we go, round the wee rotationals, and some people went straight down. Who went straight down? Kaiser, Ninjo, Chumro, Volcron, Proto. Getting out ahead of some of the schmucks who are still up there, but can they make it through the blenders as well? Well, Bane certainly can't. Neither can Fox, Spengler, Blue, or Finels. Chumro, Njao. Buncey, Hardmouth, Crackside. Who can make it through the first? Chumro tries, Chumro fails. Crackside tries, Crackside fails. It's Shifty's Theory who's going through the Tumble Dryer first and foremost. They get through with minimal difficulty. They don't bash on here, they take the right side. Alright, down through the Chrissy Crossy. Shifty's got a good advantage. Some people have made a good advantage, work for them for the entire race, such as Dark Young. Can you be a Dark Young, or will you get pegged hard? You do hit the pegs badly. Will you be overtaken by Volcron or Crackside? Not at that rate. You okay, there we go, Volcron. Volcron sees the opportunity, keeps taking it. Can they dodge the last set of pegs? They absolutely can. That was a nifty wee one around the sides. Aether tries to emulate it. Aether fails to do so, and gets popped out for even trying. Okay, right. Oh, did Volcron slip at some point? No, they are slipping down, making it further and further ahead of the competition. Chumro and Elkoro try to meet up with them and fail. Can they get right that? What even is it? Oh, oh, jings. Do they need to be launched here or something? I guess they get launched far up. Is that the only way through? This must be the devil's pin that uh, it's all about. Get into the center and you'll be blasted up first. Oh, it's Chumro. Chumro gets blasted up and they want to get into these giant funnel here. Oh, but Ninja, Ninja's taking the advantage. They'll be coming down. They want to pop out here and make their way in, into the exit, and they'll be good for it. El Coro, uncontested. They make it through. They beat all the competition. And there's a wee bit of waiting before Ertran, Jake, Chumro, Buncey, and Volcron make it in. Sidear, Battle Cog, they all roll in. And looks like Roman will be taking the 10th position. Not many survive in that one. Looks like a lot of them got blasted out, but hey. A good set of fine winners. I might even say that of all the people that finished this race, this is the finest set of balls we've had so far. Well, congratulations, El Coro, but here comes the big question. Are you feeling generous or are you feeling greedy? And there's nothing wrong with being greedy. In a way, greed is good. Chumrus is the fourth biggest loser and beaten out by Jake. What can I say? 
Well, I don't have to say anything. But, El Coro does. I'm sure we'll find out what they're saying shortly. But if the match doesn't end until either the death wall hits or everybody makes it to the exit, this is the death wall. Burning through every ball in its path. Although it's not a tricky one until the very end. I don't suspect that anyone's going to get burnt unless they're still hanging around here. Who is moseying about? Zhao and Killer Adler are failing to get out of here. They might get burnwalled before they get pegged out of there. Ah, well, no, someone's in with a chance and Zhao makes it out. Will the killer be killed? The firewall is approaching. I don't think you're going to have time even if you get on that by now. Oh, what an ill fate for you. Oh, but you got blasted up. But you could not escape. Killer Adler got finished off by the great death wave of fire. Oh, congratulations, El Coro. What do you have to say for yourself? I'll share one. One for Jake and the other for Urk Ran. How generous of El Coro to give it over to second and third place. And how excessively generous of me to be winning in my own race. Happy days, isn't it? Put this down in my little notebook. I do actually handwrite these things, so... El Coro was the winner. And they give it over to Eric Ran and DDR Jake. They'll be getting a game of their choice. Oh, I wonder what Jake will choose. Again, if you are a winner here, do directly contact me on Steam or Discord or whisper me on Twitch. Or send me a messenger pigeon. Doesn't matter. It just makes my life a lot easier if you reach out to me because me tracking down lots of different people is difficult. Oh, Eric Ran is saying thanks a lot. Chumra is saying I'm the fourth biggest loser, of course. Crackside is attempting to boost and failing. And Vokron says they got a little bit shy. Now, how about those that didn't quite make it, like Bane? Boost doesn't do anything, folks. It certainly didn't do anything for you. Spengler is coping. Finellis is playing. Frats? I don't understand modern lingo. Renade second place to Aether. Damn it. Damn it indeed. But as our winner, El Coro, you can choose what our next track is going to be. A number between 1 and 60, and if it's a repeat, we will ignore your choice entirely. El Coro says play number 6. Number 6 is Twist and Turns. Let's do it. As Dominion music continues on strong, exclamation mark play, and you will join in. Might as well join in myself. Oh, the third again. Fancy that. Okay, people know this is coming. They don't need a lot of time. Let's just get that thing started up. Pain for the slow if they don't get in on time. So, twists and turns. Looks like a fairly vanilla track, what we see here. It looks like everybody's going to be going down into the big funnel, out for a bunch of diverging paths. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe there's some kind of teleporter, who am I to say? But, down in they go. Who's going to have the advantage coming down this? You know, Bane with his fancy colour makes it really easy to see him amongst the whole lot of them. I've got a whole lot of mess here. Does anybody seem to have the advantage? Well, Zhao and Williams are the ones separating themselves from the chaff. But what matters is the first ones to slide themselves into that greased up hole. We know whose balls are greased, because I've been selling them my excess grease. Okay, coming out here is Psychotic Dex, Bane Williams, Zhao and Catalus. As I come down, oh, Bane Williams has given it a real push here. Unfortunately, Bane Williams has a real bad habit of pushing rope when it comes to these. And it might let him down once again here. Psychotic Dex taking the advantage. Bane's not giving it up. He's joined by Spengler and Cadalus. And Spengler's actually at Spengler wants to win. They've come so close they could taste victory before. And this time I think they've got the heart in it. Right, down they go. It's them and Cadal striking out for the advantage. But then again, if you spend too much time roaming around here, it's not going to matter. And a lucky clash of the balls can send an unsuspected advantage to a certain ball to come down here. As it stands, though, Doc Spengler maintains the lead. It's really tight behind them, though. Look at all the other balls. Psychotic Dex, something 2000, Icefall, Zaramus, Bane Williams. Oh, and one DDR Jake. A bit slow today, though. Right, Joe Stalling, Cadus, Doc, they're all clashing out for it, but on the other side, into that blender, who do we have there? Solmer 2000, Velocizar. We also got Taciturn Tactics, but we're coming up to the end. 
Oh my, oh, they just couldn't maintain it towards the end. Looks like Doc Spengler's not gonna be taking it. It's Joseph Stalling who's in it for the win, unless they get overtaken at the last moment. Do they? Oh, they do not. Joseph makes it in. Joseph is the big winner. Joseph Stalling. Congratulations, but if anything, this is the difficult part. You can have any game you want. I'll make sure it gets your way. Or, if you're feeling festive, feeling generous, you can give two gifts out to others. How are you feeling about that? Well, we'll catch their message once everybody's made it in. The final slow-mos here. Defa A. Metzel. Resty's just taking a rest right here. Not even fashed. The firewall is on its way and they're just taking it easy. You can do it, Resty. I believe. Meanwhile, we can see these people. Anybody got a funny image that shows? So Zaramus is using anime. Doc Spengler is using whatever the hell that is. But Joseph is the big winner. And Joseph says, gifts for the plebs. Well then, Joseph, who are you willing to gift it out to? Jow, Daedalus, Zaramus, Spengler, Rakusa, Cypher, Chumro, Aleg, and Zergle are your choices. But you got to make that choice. Chumro says, I made it on the leaderboard again. That ain't winning. You think that's a leaderboard? The leaderboard only has one entry in it. The winner. They're saying they're wanting to... Oh, well, they're not saying who they want it for. Let's go through some of the messages. No DNFs. Everybody made it through. Even Bane made it through. I like shining brightly. I sure took my time. Rest is saying, I'm just chilling. Just dragging out the time here. I will beat Dark Young, says Roman. Will you, though? Well, actually, I don't think he's in the race, so winner by default. Either that or I just blanked him out from my vision. Okay, Joseph is saying Zerg and Aleg. I'll take this down in my little book of notes here. Righto, righto. So, Joseph wins. They're going to bankrupt me with their generosity here. Who did they even say? I managed to forget. Zerg and Aleg. What are those actual names, though? Aleg. Oh, it's Aleg with two Gs and a 33. I will write that down in case some imposter Alegs try and get hold of me. And it's Zerg L with an L on the end. Very well. They shall be contacted, or hopefully they contact me. But as our winner here, Joseph, pick a race, any race, but not that race, and we'll make it happen. Don't forget you're on sub only, Jake. I'm not. It was a brilliant idea by um, by wealthy Nigerian. But I'll turn off sub only for the last one. We'll have a heart. Cheers, chat. Let's go with 14. Didn't we just have Pixels Raceway? I'm pretty sure we did have Pixels Raceway. Let's have a quick look at it. Oh, no, we didn't. Okay, well, get on in. Starting with me, of course. Stingus is in. Crackside, Arthur, Dismount. There's Bane Williams in once again. People mashing in that exclamation mark play. Did I see Nyx try it? I did see Nyx try it. That plucky bugger. What's he like? Alright, that's already plenty of time. Let's go. I'm not made of Demina soundtrack. I'm about to run out of soundtrack, so tell you what, we'll go with you now. And then queue you up, and queue you up, and oh, it's going already, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's have at. Are we even going to get some music here? Perhaps not. No, I think it's slowly playing there. Okay, down into this fun wee thing. The wee platforms are moving within it and have all sorts of numps and bumps on it, but it's all about getting out and getting out first, and who does that? It's Deloran! Delaran miles ahead of the competition, although they are trying to catch up. Delaran's coming in. They've got 12 energy. They've had five races to their names, three eliminations. Unfortunately, that's not good enough. Protozomac knows how to bring it forward. They've actually got an avatar here. They've had six races. They've been eliminated. They've never won. Can they win now? Ooh, not if they get tired out like that. Tendronite tries to bully them like a game of cur curling, but they're having none of that. Delaran's got their lead back. And if they can get over these speed bumps and into their first, they cannot. Shady Lane takes it. 
Shady Lane, this is their only race. Can they make it a good one? Oh, not if they smash the tires like that. Delaran coming back out. They will not give up. Unfortunately for them, Psychotic Dex is trying to take over, but again, mashing those tires. Delaran is so angry. They want that win. They keep coming out in front, blast their way through. They can see and smell the exit, but they can't get around those tires. Can someone boost them out? Can they make it through before people come in? Metzel smashes the tires. Oh my goodness, Ted and I leaps over everything. But again, they just can't navigate the tires. Not quite like Shady Lane can. That was a photo finish, but I have confirmed Shady Lane was the first one to drop inside the bowl there. Impressive blast out there. Very good. Ah, some people are falling by the waysides like El Coro there. Down goes Killer once more. Bane just can't seem to shove it through all that rubber. Oh, don't worry, I'm bringing up the rear to try and force us on through. Oh, I didn't want to get this close to TBW if we could kindly get out of here. Yeah, there we go. All into the mortar. Or is that the pestle? I forget which is which. Alright, good job, Shady Lane. How are you feeling about your victory? Give us your victory speech. His victory speech is LOL, just run everyone over. Am I to hear that as implying that he's taking the gift for himself? Because it sounds a lot like what, that's what it is. We have very few DNFs, and what do they have to say for themselves? El Coro speaks to them all, saying, Welp. Welp, indeed. Absolute last place for Deathshed, second last place for TBW, saying, This was a goon one. I hope you enjoyed the goon one. Tactic saying, I'm fairly certain it's near impossible to fall off the track here. Well, five people made the impossible possible. At least I finished. Shady Lane, I believe they are taking it for themselves unless they're saying something else, but uh, I'm not seeing anything. Oh well, they better, they better claim it or give us a new uh, line to run or else it's going to fall to the next person. Shady Lane, are you there? I'm extending you one last chance to rise up and claim this, otherwise it's going to second place. Seal Node says better than Jake, that's what's important. <laughs> Everybody but two people were better than me. And we're not even looking at the DNFs here. Shady Lane just says, I will take it. Shady Lane, since you're such a greedy bastard, I'm going to force you to tell everybody in chat right now what game it is you are claiming here. You have to tell us now and we'll be sticking to it. Think of it as the greed tax. And I swear, if this is actually Idol Manager... Got excited when I saw Patrician 4 in chat, but that's somebody being a cheeky wee bugger. Right, so Shady Lane Double O keeps. And for that matter, if Dark Young is around, what is he gonna have? Shady Lane, you got you gotta hurry up here. I'm not standing around all evening whilst you browse your way through the library. You pick a game. You get that game, and there's going to be no uh, no take backsies. No, hmm, just name the get name exactly, Bane. Name the name, name the next track, and then we keep on going. <laughs> I was I was a bit scared because Stacy said Gary Grigsby's War in the East too. I don't want to support the Gary Grigsby games. I don't want to not support them, but I uh, don't don't want to get behind all that. Holy moly, how long can it take one man here? You're holding everything up, Shady Lane. Name that game. You have got until I count to ten to name that game, or this is getting handed over to someone else. Oh, well, you went for it. You got Jackbox 5. No take backsies on that. Jackbox? Is that the party games? I'm even writing it here. Jackbox 5. Alright! There's a DLC called the Hmm Starter Pack on Steam. You tempt me greatly, Atsy, but he did come through. Okay, next race. The last race. And although I said we'd do quadruple sub only, let's actually invite the scrubs here. It's up to the subs to show their superiority in winning, after all. Shady, you take longer to decide these than a certain guy I know takes to order a pizza. But if you could please also choose us a number between 1 and 60 for the next race, we'll go for that. They say track 20, multi-lane madness. Let's go. Wow, Bane, that was capital timing. I thought you'd be too early, but you did get in. Bane knows his marbles, though. 
Come on, blood them all in. We got a capacity of 500. We've never come close to reaching it on this before. And now we're not going to start today, but... More balls, more fun, right? Right, let's see what Santa's got in his sack for the final one. Let's start it up and get going. Looks like we've got the usual pachinko wall to make our way down. Ugh, I see dirty rice there. What a disgusting idea. Three, two, one, go. All right, they're all falling down. Uh, what, some people just went straight... <laughs> Bane! Bane, no, not like that. How do you even fall out of that? Holy moly. Well, it doesn't matter what he did or how he did it. What matters is who's coming in first. It's not him. It could potentially be Art Gremlin. It could be... Who blasted forward there? What handsome rogue is going like a madman? Holy matrimony. Holy matrimony! <laughs> oh, well, come on, suckers. You slow arse pillocks. Can't you win a cheatsy little game of marbles? It's so easy. Boost, 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 Jake. You can do it. I will have idle manager if it's the last thing I do. Oh, no, I'm getting stuck in the blender. Other people are coming up. I don't think I can get through that wee hole in time. Oh, but I can. I just threaded it. Ah, oh, but I didn't thread the other one. Oh, no. Oh, no. There was nothing in the rules against cheating, but you also have to be good to make the most of it. All right, Vicleo, making their way down these suspiciously shaped curves here. I'm still stuck in the blender. How can this be? Okay, down and down they go, but who's going to be the first one out? Vicleo is looking good. I am seeing Frozen Kaiser. He's a bit mad about uh, some other people in the family getting that play play cooking set that he wanted. It looks good for Vicleo, but can Gish make it on the other side? They're steaming on through, and... Oh, they almost steal it, but no, Vicleo gets it. Cleo is the name of one of my cats from my youth, so I'm only too happy for you to be the big winner here. The final winner here. And, in fact, we're 50-50 between subs and non-subs on the leaderboard, but first, second, and third are all panhandlers. Still, Vicleo, the most important choice is yours to make right now. Is this your victory? Or is it a victory for Christmas in general? Guess we'll find out once everybody finishes up and or gets death walled. Creeper is, well, making me look absolutely competent at getting through the tumble dryer here. But through they go. I don't want the same song again. What else do we have? Eh, doesn't seem like we've got anything. Get us a circus. Well, that death wall's on its way, but I have every confidence you'll be able to make. Where even are you? <laughs> just taking your time like rest. Everybody else is getting a little too cozy over there in the box, and you're just saying, nah, nah. It's all about the journey, not the destination, right? Expertly done. Right, what do we have out from you, Vicleo? Nothing at all. They're not claiming the prize. They're not giving the prize away. Amazing, just joined the stream. Can I get Civilization 6 panhandlers to the max? But, as I say, doesn't matter if you're just here to scalp a game because you were browsing for places that were doing gifty giveaways, or if you've been supporting the stream for eight years solid and you've got nothing in return for it. The winner is the winner. And in this case, Vicleo is the winner, and we'll be getting ourselves a copy of Civilization 6. Please add me on Steam, whisper me on... Twitch or direct message me on Discord to claim your prize, Vicleo. And that is actually a wrap. Six play cards done, six runs done, uh, a lot more than six gifts having to be given away by me. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, th thirteen. Well, I did eight races. Oh, okay. Well, um. <laughs> I guess it's beans on toast for my diet for the rest of, well, for next year. Never mind, though. I will get these gifts sent out for the rest of the evening. And that does it for our streams for today. Not for the year, of course, though. I will be back tomorrow with the weekly one-shot, playing The Long Dark. Very fitting, because it's dark and very cold in real life right now. So cheers for joining for some festive State of Decay, some good old giveaways. I hope you had almost as much as fun as I did, because I had a lot of fun. 
We'll go through some messages before we finish off here. Grish is saying they wanted to gift onwards. What a shame for them. Fight Cleo's there to get the greed in. Wealthy Nigerian says cheers and see you tomorrow, Jake. Third loser of this race. Two top ten finishes back to back. You did well, Wealthy Nigerian. Just not well enough. Tartha coming in. Blabbing on, saying Pog Pog Bost. No, that's Roman blood. That's, uh, I'm surprised you're still able to chat with that. Tartha is saying 7th is the closest they've been. Frozen Kaiser is saying long, the long dark awesome. That's pretty good. Reminds me a bit too much of childhood though. And our DNS, what does Bane have to say? Friendly fire, thanks for the stream. Hubris is always punished, ain't it just? Okay, a fitting end seeing, TV, uh, seeing Bane Williams' pathetic ending there. But great job. Have a very merry Christmas. And if you're not having a very merry Christmas, well, that sounds really bad. Try to make it better. There are still a few hours left in the day here, at least. And I suppose a cheerio.